What's going on, everybody? How are you doing? Happy Friday. Good to see you. Oh, no, you haven't seen the podcast yet. It's a good one this week. It's a good one this week. It's very different. Can we even call it a podcast? Can, is, can you even call it a podcast? I I don't know. We're it, it, we kind of borderline there. It was podcast-ish, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it was good. It was good. <clears throat> Hopefully you saw I tweeted yesterday. I, I actually like straight up tweet. Oh, what the heck, Sam? <laughs> Sam! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Sam with a hundred. Jeez, a hundred gift sub bombs. Thank you so much. I'm not tired. I'm a little stressed because I was like frantically trying to get everything set up to do everything that I promised we would do today. Um, like setting up the drum stuff, it sounds like it would be like easy, but it's not. It's really, it's really difficult. Um, I got a whole thing. It's a whole thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, that took me some time to make sure. I don't even know if it's gonna work. Actually, I gotta. I might not be able to, to talk, actually talk to you guys when I go over there. We'll see. Hopefully, I get it figured out. Anyway, it's gonna be a bit of a messy stream. I think. I think it's gonna be a bit of a messy stream. <laughs> Sam, thank you so much. That was amazing. T Wolf as well with an amazing ten gifts sub bomb. T Wolf, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. TNT, the big four zero, 40 months, resub, thank you. River Kent, thanks for the raid. Druid Queen, thanks for the 23 months. CCR, Vincent in the house, 16. Frosty Fly, 19. Buttercup, thanks for the 25 months prime. You guys are amazing. Mad Maddie in the house, 25 months. You've been looking forward to the stream? Yeah. Okay. So remember there was like, uh, there was like three rewards that we had to do for hitting sub goals because we were like things went crazy and we hit sub goals like crazy that day um so the first one i think was reacting to no just just uh drumming right the first one was drumming i think the second one was reacting to my cringiest videos and the third one is doing the hot one challenge live <laughs> yeah it was pretty much sam's fault that day yeah <laughs> uh so the third one is doing the hot ones challenge live which uh you you seen the podcast or, or you, you will see the podcast we skiz and i did the hot ones challenge but we'll do it again live i just used the word we i'm gonna try to rope them into it <laughs> i don't know skiz was hating it watch the podcast guys they watch the podcast make sure you make sure you catch it it was it was a good one it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, the other thing is I was so busy setting up, I haven't really been able to consume much coffee this morning. So, might try to do that, Mad Maddie. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Might have a little something, something, Bruin. Uh, anyway, so we're just hanging out today, guys. It's a, it's a just chatting stream, I guess. Reactions stream. I don't know. Yeah, we got... <laughs> Look, I made it. I made it so I have OBS over here as well. So when I go and sit down, I can still see all the overlays and everything. Uh, that That's a pretty cool setup I have, actually. It's actually broadcasting the video signal from OBS on this computer over to that computer through something called NDI. So it is it is good. <laughs> I'm doing all right, Sam. I'm doing all right. I hope you're doing okay. Melissa, thank you so much for the 15 months. Southy man, thanks for the prime. IX3 in the house, 19 months. River Kent with the 24 months, two years. Let's see that new channel badge in River Kent. Let's see it. There's so many badgers. So many badgers. I love all the different colored channel badgers. I need to pay more attention to them. Maybe memorize which what what, what they all stand for. I forgot. <laughs> Yay, there you go. The purple one. I love the purple one. I love it. Woohoo! Yay for new badgers. Um, you guys are gonna have to help me today with like volumes and stuff, especially when I get on the drum set. I have no I I didn't get a chance to like pre-test that. So gonna need a four-year one soon. Uh-oh, we uh did we not? Do we not have one lined up for four years? You're right though. Yeah, we're about there. Or am I all right? Might have to get something made. Gosh, it's been so long. I have to remember who who made those for me. Uh, it was a long time ago. 
Wow. Maya the Beast says, as much as I love watching you play Minecraft, I'm excited to hang out for hanging out for a hanging out stream. I can read. Um, it's been uh, it's been great being able to actually make your streams while I'm off work. School's out for summer. Oh, and I got a song in my head. School's out for summer. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to get DMZ. We got to be careful. I'll just sing it poorly all the time, just like that. <laughs> It is Friday though. It's 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 Friday. We can hang out on a Friday. I will I will be playing Minecraft later today. I just don't know if I'm gonna be streaming it. Um It's one of those things where I'm getting to know my MCC teammates, and I think sometimes it's better to not be on camera <laughs> during those sessions. You know what I mean? Give us a little bit of time to be like just get to know each other whilst we're not on a stage of some sort so we did actually practice together wednesday afternoon um and i, I told you guys i told my glimpse people wednesday morning that like i'm gonna fill it out and see and neither one of them were streaming and so i was like i'm not gonna stream this i just want to hang out with them get to know them we <laughs> I, and i'm really sorry about that because we had the best time ever. <laughs> like we were, there was we were laughing and, and just gaming hard. We were winning games. It was so much fun, but it was important. It was important to to get like to know each other in that way so that we can vibe on Saturday. Holy cow, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. We're gonna game a little bit this afternoon. I'll I'll, I'll wait and see if if it's a, if it's a streaming or a non-streaming situation. But there's a potential pot potential chance I could stream later today with the team. We'll see. Ken all, thank you so much for the hundred bits. Lightly lucid, thank you for the nineteen months. All right. Uh, so because I was so busy like setting up my drum set, I really didn't have a chance to uh, to like queue up videos to watch today. So we're going to have to kind of like go through the catalog and and uh, find some. Obviously, my first episode ever, 10 years ago, we have to watch, right? Like, that's a must. Not the whole thing. We'll scan through, I guess. But we'll watch a little bit of it, yeah? You got a channel badger, Bumble. It's, it's, uh, you got the, the red one. They're, I just I'm saying the colors, but they're actually supposed to be like sapphire or something like that. I don't know. Diamond. I'm like blue. You got the blue one. <laughs> anyway, um, shall we? Shall we dive in to our cringiest video ever? Always the first one. Always the first one's always gonna be the cringiest, right? Let's see. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Am I muted? Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> I know what happened. I know exactly what I can actually hear the volume of this coming out of headphones behind me. <laughs> See, I plugged in the drum set. And it decided I'm your new I'm your new sound source. Come on, Windows. Why you why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? You're the worst. I, I'm always plugging and unplugging things. Just just when I tell you what it's gonna be, just stay there. Just stay there. There we go. Hello, everyone. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that intro. All right. Let's go back to it. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Here we go. My first ever video. I never expected anybody to actually watch this. It didn't. It wasn't supposed to be on. Uh, uh, well, I mean, I, I put it on YouTube just so I could remember my adventures with my son. But <laughs> yeah, Manatee. Uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, sorry, we didn't get a chance to like call you last night. Um, but yeah, we uh, we got a chance to hang out with NJ. Me and Skiz went and uh, went and went and hung out for a bit. Had some tater tots. It was great. <laughs> it was nice meeting her. And she brought us coffee, of course. I can't wait to try it. Anyway, all right, let's go. Hello, everyone. This is Impulse. 
together with. There he is, Blue Cheetah. Say hello. And oh, we are bringing you skin. episode number one <laughs> of our Let's Play Cross series. Like I'm going to call it Future Craft. And what we're doing is we are concept, playing though. on the latest snapshot, 12W40B. And every week we're going to make a oh. new episode <laughs> with the latest snapshot. Ooh, I hear a dog already. Did you hear that, Cheetah? Oh, so there excited. he is. Wolf. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, and we're going to get started. His skin was definitely cooler than mine. <laughs> His skin was definitely cooler than mine. What, am I, what even am I? I like, oh, I don't know. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, get some get some this tools before made. Before I have like an eye logo on Cheetah's even already back, I think chopping down his first tree by hand. Here we go. No cuts. Wait, there, I'm sure there was some cuts, I'll get but some like tools and we'll scope this place. It's out. pretty raw. I didn't even think. So like I said, we're playing on the latest snapshot, 12W40B. <laughs> and as we go along, we may see some new features that are. So 2012 week 40 snapshot B. That's what that means, right? It's 2012. And then the 40th week into 2012. So we're talking like, yeah, this is like September time frame ish I think, if I remember right. September, maybe October, somewhere in there. And, uh, yeah, the whole point was just to... I was just wanted to record myself playing. Play, or I want to record me and my son playing together, just to kind of like capture our adventures and and like see, <laughs> and, and see, you know, just to have it in a little vault, which I was basically using YouTube as file storage. Not yet out. We're not going to specifically go looking for them, but if we do come across them, we'll point them out. Didn't even tell you what we like know about them. Using the first pieces of wood to make a crafting table. Of course, I picked the biggest tree to cut down by hand. There we go. What so ah. I can hear like tons of background noise. It's just like constant hiss Shh, the whole time. That microphone was bad. So the microphone that I was using back then was a Logitech G something headset. You know, it's a Logitech headset with the little mic that comes out. And it had these buttons on the side that you could mute. And you could just do like voice changer stuff too. You could assign things to a couple buttons on the helmet, not the helmet, but the ear. Uh, and so, yeah, you'll see. Uh, we'll find a video where uh, the the cheetah translator comes into play. <laughs> but I mean, this is like forty minute, hard at work pretty much table. uncut, starting Minecraft. Like, all right, it wasn't good. There's nothing. There's no Get some tools here. Watch me watch me struggle to make wooden tools. Right. All oh, right. Oh, and then meanwhile, he's got a look, stone. Look, meanwhile, <laughs> I'm getting schooled by my nine year old. I think he was nine at the time. <laughs> I make my first wooden pickaxe. He's like, here's a stone sword. I'm already <laughs> miles ahead of you. <laughs> oh, oh man. man. Getting schooled. Blue cheetah works fast. <laughs> All right. It's in the name. Let's See, go. I could, uh, I could have made a joke, a fast joke. I wasn't. Blue cheetah works fast. He's a cheetah. Get it? Cheetahs are fast. Ugh. I'll walk around a little bit, cheetah. Oh, Look, you got to Thank more you. stone tools. Thank you. Let's walk around a little bit. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Dude, do you try to... Oh, I thought he tried to All right. swig at uh, me there. Pick a direction. Yeah, there wasn't. Let's go this You're way. You're right. Like, you advancements aren't popping up for anything. Yep. All Interesting. Alrighty. How long have I played Minecraft? At, like at this point, I'd probably only been playing Minecraft for like a month, I think. Probably about a month. Uh, so like really, really new to Minecraft still. I missed the Sonic joke too. Dang it. I'm going to need to find some kinda cool. food. You can see I don't know about all this me happening. snow. Hmm. A lot of snow in this world. I'm very observant. <laughs> In case you didn't realize, there's a lot of snow. And uh, I didn't, like, think to, like, check seeds or anything. You know what I mean? It was a terrible spot. It was, like, the ugliest spot, and I didn't care. I'm like, okay, we're recording this now. Brand new world we generated. 
Uh, we have not played it's on it yet, so we have no idea random. what we're in for here. There's some sheep over there. <laughs> we're gonna need. I love how I just I'm pointing out like just just as I'm walking. There's some sheep over there. There's a lot of snow here. Hey, look, some grass. <laughs> Up ahead, looks like we got some water. <laughs> Your bed. So let's go ahead and take care of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping down from the top of the tree, okay. I don't know how to crit. Ooh. Some Look monsters. at that! There's some clouds in the sky. Neat. Monsters nearby. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Like, when you first start playing, this kind of stuff is is neat. You know? Like, everything is new. Everything is you're experiencing it, like, pretty much for the first time. So, it's still kind of like, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, mm. you're right. Sword Time spamming back then was fine. Oh. Whoa. Cheetah, you okay? Oh, that was him. He's fine. That wasn't me. He went down in a cave. Everybody panicked. Right, Everybody let's, panicked. Let's keep moving. More sheep. <laughs> more sheep. Panic. Wow. Whoa. Oh, man. No one's she sprint like jumping. Just seemed to... Well, I mean, we didn't have food yet, right? So it was like, as we're worried about, like, are these sheep not dropping mutton? Did they not drop mutton back then? And they just dropped wool? I think so. I don't think mutton was in the game at this point. So even killing sheep was like not helping us as far as Did you food. jump in front of me there. So yeah, probably yeah, trying everywhere. to preserve. I guess I need one more wool so. to not get hungry. Ooh, already getting shot. Make somebody try. Wait to a get minute. Me wait a minute. Oh, that was. I keep hearing cheetahs. Okay. <laughs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Off to a great start here. That's what you want. That's what you want as a professional YouTuber. All right. So far, this is the worst thing you've ever watched. Thanks for coming. <laughs> oh, look. There's some sugar. Let's see. Say some it. ice. I think I lost my companion. Some ice. Okay. Is. Okay. All right. What else we got? Tell the audience. Grab that. Okay, there, there. Well, we're going to have to find a source of food here, Cheetah. And I, I, I'm good on wool. I have eight now, thanks to you. Oh, It was weird because he didn't have a microphone. And so it's a one-way conversation with my son. Like, he can't really respond. <laughs> Blue Cheetah was my son. And uh, he was probably nine years old at the time. Let's see. Yeah, probably... Probably nine years old. Probably just turned. Is, sorry, is my son. This is a past version of him, so I said was. But, yeah. <laughs> He's my son. Uh, this was, yeah, if it was ten years ago, it was September-ish. Yeah, he was he was nine. So, um, there was, but he was, he, there was chat. You'll see. Oh, At some point, cheap. he okay. learns to use the chat. Let's but keep moving. We're, we're going to have to find old. something to so. eat. All right, let's, 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 oh, how long? <laughs> That's oh. what I get for playing with a cheetah. He's ahead of me at every step of the way. Whoa, okay. Like I said, hey, I got swing showed in. up by awesome. a nine-year-old. Whoa. Great. Whoa, did he just Okay, there's some more, there's some more. Good. <laughs> that was the other thing, he was nine, so he liked to, he liked to do kid things, you know? Like, All right, cheetah, I'm going to let you take care of the rest of these guys, <laughs> and I'm no going to dig. That was my see if I can first dad jokes. Uh, enough stone for a furnace. Okay. Are you ahead of me? Don't cut any of this. Don't cut any of that. Nope. Over there. Gonna take five minutes to dig stone. And get us some chicken. Let's go over that jungle, Cheetah. Let's see what's over there. Thought, for some reason, I thought jungles oh, came in the game later. Lag spike. Oh, that was a lag spike? Let's see what's over there. Holy cow! Oh, the massive I thought lag my spike. video froze. Yeah. Let's see what's over there. <laughs> Other than the massive lag spike. Whoa! Okay. We're good. <laughs> that was one of the worst I've seen. I mean, we were playing on just like oh. a, a LAN Jungle's server. Bigger. You know? It shouldn't have been that bad unless my computer wasn't so good. That was terrible. Or maybe the recording software, too. You're starting to get hungry. Oh. Okay. Well, somewhere over here. You can like hear cheers. I think we my should chair set up a little too. base camp. Oh. Okay, so our first little 
Basically, said, right. Oh, see, that's how he, yeah, he'd always like punch me to get my attention. Hot topic. Okay, sweet. There, so there was advancement, see? All right. Oh, topic. is he starving okay, to death? And uh, for now, I'll just go ahead and. Or he some, ate raw chicken and it made him sick or something? I don't know. Oh, yeah, we were loading a jungle. You're right. That's probably what it was. The jungle's loading in. That makes sense. Saul Serena, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Say Impulse just finished the podcast. Two questions. How long did it take you to stop crying? And how long did it take you to get over it? Poor skis was in a lot of pain. Um, yeah, so I, I I drank that milkshake after, um, and it solved everything. Uh, in fact, like, if, if we do it again, I almost want to outlaw milkshakes. Because it almost made it n not easy. It, as you saw, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. We're talking about the, the Hot Ones Challenge that Skiz and I did on the podcast today. Um, it... It definitely was tough, but like as soon as the milkshake like touched my tongue, it pretty much solved everything. So I think it would be fun to go again and only allow water, just water, because even water is not that helpful. It basically, just spreads the heat throughout the mouth, it dilutes it a bit, but doesn't get rid of it like like a dairy does, like milk or or milkshake. So yeah, and uh, so I was fine within you know ten to fifteen minutes after we were done. And uh, anything else I was worried about wasn't a problem either. So yeah, it was all good. It was it was all good uh, <laughs> to the point that I want to make it harder next time. Husky, thank you so much for the 100 bits. <laughs> Morning. Been mistreating your toilet at all lately. <laughs> is, is that in reference to the same thing we were just talking about? <laughs> all right. And then he can get uh, something to eat better thank than you. that. Rotten Spoilers, flesh. you haven't seen it. Well, it's on right now. not much to spoil. We eat hot wings, and, and you're right. going to see some raw Good. reactions. Uh, uh, what else can we do? Great. Uh, it's great. It's, it's, need it's, some more It's one of my favorite wood. that we've done ever. So he gave me an axe. That's awesome. I'll go ahead. Oh, it wasn't ready yet, but that's okay. You can watch tomorrow with your, okay, uh, your girlfriend. Cut this tree down awesome. anyway. It's worth the watch. I, my, I actually, my family okay, watched okay. it and enjoyed it, and they don't usually watch my stuff. Jungle wood. Well, I, got I got it figured. Come on, come on. First, let's uh, continue. Let's, we can't watch all 40 minutes. Period. I just want to see where, what do we actually get, get done in this Tough. episode. Oof. You get to watch me chop trees for 10 minutes. Great. I mean, look at all that. Oh, there was a cut crazy there. With it, the Holy people. cow, I'm getting Don't professional. Extra crazy with it, though. Maybe. Right, I thought there was a cut. Room for a front door. I don't know what to do, make yes. a cut. I'll probably end up turning that around. <laughs> oh, man. I think about that size would be good. <laughs> I thought I made a cut, I didn't. Uh oh. Getting dark. <laughs> okay. No, hey, are you going to watch me place every block? That's into great. Rush. Uh -oh, That's I'm great. Hey. <laughs> Best starter house you've ever seen, good right? Yeah, cheetah. Yeah. All right there. I'll do mine over here. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna replace the floor. That's cool. Let's <laughs> go put a bed there. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Oh, man. Chanterton, thank you so much for the thousand bits. It says, love the podcast and laughed at the horrible Spanish pronunciation. <laughs> good laugh. Uh, good laugh the day after I had a medical procedure still recovering, but it's all good. Oh, man. Uh, what was it? The. Uh, Los Calientes Rojo. Did I nail it? I get it better? Was that better? <laughs> we were so American. Uh, <laughs> Los Calientes Rojo. <laughs> hey, at least we didn't say Rojo, okay? We knew the J was, like, silent or whatever. <laughs> or no, it's, like, kind of like a Y sound, right? Rojo. No. <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. But, uh, Kate, bye. Food all I was, up. I was a little upset. I don't want to give too many spoilers, but I was a little upset because in the beginning of the podcast, Skiz said things were going to happen to him because of Spice, and not all of it happened. And I was like, I was really looking forward to um, when he said like, oh, when I have Spice, this happens. I'm not going to say it because it's a spoiler, but... Uh, I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait. And then it didn't happen. I was like, oh. <laughs> you know I wanted what? him to suffer. That might be a little more fashionable suffer. than my sneakers I got on right now. 
Hello, everyone. Oh, I just accidentally went back to the beginning this is of the video. Impulse? Anyway, let's let's scan through the video because yeah, this is not worth sitting through forty minutes of. I wouldn't recommend this video uh, to any anyone, really. All right, pretty. <laughs> but we all gotta I'll start. Find my way back somewhere, right? <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. This can't be good. Okay. We're in a, good, we're in a good, cave good, together. Good. I'm. My heart's I'm almost replenishing. So I'm almost I dead. Nice no now. <laughs> oh, got no choice. What was my choice? To, oh, to all right. So we're gonna need eat. an iron pick uh, to get see, some like, of this anything. good stuff down here. Let's go ahead and light light this place up a little better. Yeah. Well, at least I was smart enough to know we should probably put in some get swept some down torches and stuff lava. so people can actually see. This is a cool little room. Whoa. The XP sounds loud. Whoa. Yeah, it was. Uh, quite a that bit of mob weird. down there. I think the game and sounds in general in this video was capacity. That's okay. Was pretty loud oh, overall. Wow. I'm about Lots to die, aren't I? Somebody's about to die. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nightshade. Appreciate you. Ten dollar Ken, you dig it? Two things. One, next time drink the milkshake first to protect your stomach. Two, are you going to be pulling out the moonlight intro? Oh, we have to. Yeah. In fact, let's um. Let's be done with this video. I'm already what? I'm already bored of this one. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> but let's go to the end and see where we end up here. If so, please make sure you oh. uh, give us the thumb. Whoa. Came out. And, I was trying to be a YouTuber. Uh, course, Listen, uh, they just Hold announced. On. Not sure what she is doing down there. Okay. Well, <laughs> thanks everybody for watching. This was episode one of the Future Craft Let's Play. And Epic. Uh, we'll be making one every week on the new snapshot that just came out. And, uh, of course, uh, they just announced October 24th is when they're planning to release 1.4. Oh, so okay, so we are into October. After that, we'll be on 1.4, and uh, at least for that week, that episode. And then we'll be back on snapshots as they release them. So they hopefully you enjoyed the every video. Every week. If every so, week. Without miss. Make sure new you, snapshot. Uh, give us the, the same thumbs day up. Perfect. Like us. Uh, subscribe for our future videos so you're notified about those. And uh, leave any comments if there's anything you guys want to see us do or accomplish. And we'll try to get those done for you. All right. Always, always, always want to kill. Let us know what you guys and want. We'll, we'll do say it. Good day. Thanks for watching, everyone. Good day. Good day. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Good day. Thanks for watching. Oh, man. I was good at it, right? I was so good at it. Jeez. <laughs> uh, let's let's find another one to watch. I'll start digging. I'm gonna start digging. Um, I gotta sort by oldest. I think it, it, the cringe. The older the the older it is, the cringier. We literally started with the first video I ever made. But um, like thinking back, okay, so I was doing that with my son. Wanted to capture it. Maybe wanted people to watch it. 24,000 people have subjected themselves to uh, that painful video. <laughs> uh, and probably a thousand of that is me re-watching re it uh, for, like, you know, anniversaries and stuff. Stuff like this. Never watched, like, the whole thing all the way through, though. So uh, hopefully the uh, YouTube algorithm doesn't kick it out there again. <laughs> but I did have, I did have, like, my third video ever was actually like a video that took off on YouTube, which is crazy. Um, but I think the main reason is because Doc M used it uh, in his in his his let's play. What was uh, what was his let's play called? The uh, World Tour, right? Uh, and that was a gold farm that I had made, which again I probably presented horribly. Let's take a look. I probably presented this one really bad. Hey, there's my IP address. In case you want it. <laughs> let's leave that in the video um <laughs> luckily that's just the local network right it's not my external ip but still like what <laughs> welcome to local host everybody there you go <laughs> seriously start the video off with my Hello, everyone. This is Impulse. I couldn't wait. And I couldn't wait the extra two seconds for the intro for that to go. Oh, my God.
a noob. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Bring you something what a little different. What a noob. Not a let's play this time. <laughs> But I want to show off something that uh, me and my buddy. <laughs> you got an IP command as a joke. Is that a, is that a, an Easter egg? There you go. Yeah, the local and host. It is a zombie pigman gold farm. But you say, what? You're in the overworld. That can't be. Oh, that was the cringiest uh, thing I've ever done. The overworld. That can't be. Uh, I'm going to show you how it works. Wait, hold up. But you say, what? You're in the <laughs> overworld. That can't be. Uh, I'm going to show I you how it use, There's tools. So right now I'm in YouTube has tools. Mode, I could literally cut the video. I could cut that I'm out of the video. Give you the tour first. That's oh, my gosh. I love the minecart elevator. elevators. I love the minecart elevators. They were the you. best back the then. Outside. And you'll see reasons so, for having the portal. So I take the minecart elevator as if I'm in survival. Then I pop, I pop out and start flying. And everybody's like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> so is this only do? That was the other thing back then. Didn't realize, like, if you if you showed stuff off in creative, it made people think it was only doable in creative. So it was better just to like do these showcases like in survival back then. People understand now, but. Back then, not so yep. much. There was a lot of confusion that I was in and creative we're during in the this. We'll come in here, and we want to get to the ceiling. <laughs> I, love, I told you, I love those minecart elevators. Those are the best things. The They're still pretty good. I, I still would recommend and them. I, uh, if I you can't do right bubbles. Here just to get through. I just want to get through the ceiling, because up on top of this, the this, nether, is, this actually was like, back in the day, this was really cool. Humongous mob trap. <laughs> And Massive. this mob trap is not my design. Uh, designed by uh, Panda. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. So I think this was his Enderman farm that I just turned into like a friends, regular JL pig, like regular pigman farm. I came up with this this mob trap design. I think okay. Friends, I think so. You hear JL. that pause? Okay, hold on. Him and his friends, JL. I said him and his friends, JL, and I stopped because I didn't remember the numbers that come after JL. What I still to this day I struggle with it. Two nine five seven. Is that correct? Did I get it right? Anybody remember JL? Instead of, yeah, and I said friends plural, and then I just said one name. Two nine, I think it was five seven, right? Was it seven five? Oh, did I transpose two of them? Dang it. I almost had it. But I seriously pause. I came up with this. And I just like move on. <laughs> design, and it's one of the most efficient ones out oh, there. Oh, man. <laughs> and what we did was we built it up here uh, on top of the bed. Anyway, this thing, this, this is actually pretty cool, but. Where I blew it here was I should have. And the reason for that. I should have started the video because... with like the payoff, right? Like, here's all this gold flying in. And then, like, zoom back to the portal, go through the portal, like, use some editing, right? Go through the portal and then show this machine as it's working, all these mobs falling, right? Instead of this, like. Because we want to be able to get away from. Showcase of it not even like running. Spawn spaces. Down an ex explanation, so if you're right, top, because at this point, like nobody actually knows if it's productive or anything, and then we're we're two minutes in, so I'm like showing off. It was so poorly done. The contraption itself was was pretty pretty smart. I thought like we some max we, efficiency. We can see them falling again. We have the the trip wires push them and they fall. And it's just got to call this is super loud. Yeah, couldn't couldn't. <clears throat> could be bothered to cut the, the part out that was loud. Uh, <laughs> so let's take a look at where they go. But, uh, yeah, looking back, I mean, these are, yeah, not being, you know, not trying to be super critical on myself. I'm just saying, like, these are the things that you, you learn as you go, you know? Like, don't think about these things. Now, of course, 10 years later, 10 years of, of like, learning all these 
like how to be better at YouTube, you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I knew that back then. Of course I was going to be making mistakes. That's that's the whole point. When you first start YouTube, you're supposed to you're supposed to make as many videos as you can so you can learn, right? Okay. Oh my gosh, did you see what I just did? Then they'll they'll fall off naturally on their own. Did you see it? Hit the ground, they'll die. Hold on, go back. Why isn't it going back? Then we got to on their own. Pushed into the overworld. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Bam. So now they're pushed into the overworld. Okay. And oh! Naturally on their own. It was a cross ground, fade. No way. We got this. You know what? I think at the time, I had Windows Movie Maker. Transport it to. I think it was Windows Movie Maker. That you could visit. That I used to edit. That's all I had. But if you come in this way. So really, there wasn't much to be able to do, you know, from an editing standpoint. It was pretty limited. I didn't have any professional editing tools, you know. It was all that was free, so that was pretty cool. So, okay, I finally demonstrate the machine, like, what it's supposed to do. Yeah, this concept, though, was pretty smart, I thought. Like, having um, mobs go through a portal and collecting in the other dimension, that was, like, way ahead of its time. I was one of the first people to do that. So props to myself for um, being creative at inventions and stuff. Look at this. Most replayed. Looks like I show people how to get through the ceiling, maybe? Yeah. And like you saw, I had a ladder there. So. And you just want to take an ender pearl, throw it up there, and then boom. Yeah, so I show how to get above the nether. Um, and I realized that at some point, that that was one of the things that a lot of people didn't know how to do back then. And I just kind of was like, oh, yeah, I know how to do this. Yeah, here's how you do it. Um, I then later made a video just on how to get above the nether. So. Yeah, it only had a single video track, single audio track. So if my if my game sounds were loud as I recorded, there's nothing I can do about it unless I was going to, like, turn down my voice as well. So um, how did I learn to get above the nether? You know what? It was probably shown to me by the, the Zip Crowd crew or something. I, I, I'm not actually sure. Yeah, they, it was probably just something I picked up along the way hanging out with other technical Minecrafters back then. So... Um, or watching their videos anyway. Because, yeah, I don't think I'd actually officially met Panda by this time. This is still very early on. So I was just using some of his stuff. All right. Um, you know what? It's been 40 minutes. Kind of feel like we could drum like every every 30 minutes or so. Let me finish this last bit of coffee. Yeah, 12W42A is very old. Very old. Right. So now we are like you can actually keep track when I show the when I show the uh, snapshot numbers. The first video we did Futurecraft was 12W40. So this was two weeks later that I made this gold farm. So I, I was like doing the thing. I was making the videos, getting after it. Right. Can you show the old video of beating the Ender Dragon? Uh, I'll look for it. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Was it the SMB thing, or was it in Futurecraft? <laughs> Forty minutes is enough cringe for me. We're done watching the cringe videos. Oh, in Futurecraft? Okay, I'll try to find it. But let's see if we can drum. Oh, there we go. Uh, let me grab something real quick. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get fancy maybe we're gonna get fancy as soon as I untangle some wires what is it with wires why must they be tangled all the time I don't I swear I just I set it down and just like walk away and it just tangles itself like some sort of snake okay there we go all right hopefully this doesn't do anything bad.
Check, check. Wrong slider. There we go. Hello. Hello, hello. Look at it. I'm talking through a little a little thing now. Fancy. You guys game here, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's louder. Hold on. Actually, I'm gonna switch back. <laughs> I'm gonna switch back real quick. I gotta clip this on my shirt. Forgot about that part. Got a little lav mic I can use. See? Neat. We'll clip it on. There we go. That's what you're gonna get while I drum. Cool? Is that all right? Volume good? I'll put it in my pocket. <laughs> it's a little itty bitty mic. Yeah, a little lav mic. I should put it inside the shirt in case it gets caught up while I'm drumming. Actually, I can do that. I can do that. I'm gonna drop it down. Oh. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. All right. Uh, now I can go sit at the drum set. Uh, let me make sure this is actually picking up in the drum scene, though. One sec. Hello, hello. Oh, no. Aw. Where's my drum camera? That's not good. What happened? What happened? Let me see what I can do about that. Come on, come back. You're not gonna be able to see me drum if I don't fix this. Hey, there we go. Hello. All right, and you guys can hear me, yeah? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> hear my heartbeat. All right, um, now the question is while I'm drumming, how do I mute? this microphone. Hold on, I think I can do it. I have to do, I have to add something to my stream deck real quick. Is it weird you guys watching me from the, from the back? Hi guys. It's weird. This is weird. Everything's so weird. Uh, what I'll do is I'll add a little drum scene mic only, and now, off my phone, look at how fancy we're getting, on my phone, one, two, five, six, seven, did it mute? Did it mute? Oh my gosh. That's insane. From my phone, oh, my phone. Watch, one, two, Five, six, oh my gosh. Brilliant. Brilliant! All right, let me move over. Oh, I gotta turn off this music, don't I? Oh, you don't have music, do you? All right, that was weird actually then. Oh, let's make sure you hear the drums too. Yeah? Did you hear actual drums? Perfect, I muted it at uh, three, four, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to move over. All right. I tried to bring... Hi. Oh, we need more light. I tried to bring a light over with, with me. Because last time we said it wasn't bright enough. Woo, fancy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That feels a little too bright. I'm glowing. It's all right though, isn't it? That work? I should probably put these on too. There we go. I think that'll work. Everything good? All right, so let's play some music. Let's play some music. I just gotta remember to mute my mic while I do this. Ah! Was that loud? <laughs> I'm glowing this time. Uh, music volume first. Let's check on it. 
Loud? Okay, we turn down. Uh, in fact, I think if I turn it down here. How's that? That's better? Okay. Cool. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll play then. Still a little bit loud? Louder than my mic. Okay. I'll turn it up just a hair more. All right, cool. All right, let's drum. Let's see if this works. Okay, I gotta turn off my mic though. It has been a minute <laughs> since I've trumped. Oh man, should have warmed up a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, that one's, woo, that was a fun song though. Um, when I turned it down, cause you guys were saying it was loud for you, I could, I could kind of barely hear it in my own ears, uh, which was weird. So I might do something a little bit different. Like I'll turn it back up probably here uh, and then I'll turn it down over there where you guys hear it. So um, we'll just do we'll just do the one for now, <laughs> so I can catch my breath if that's cool. Uh, check this out. I can from my phone go back to boop, boop. hello. That feels weird. <laughs> There we go. I'll fix it over here. And whoop, back to this mic. Look at that. All the tech, guys. I told you, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to set up for these streams because there's a lot of things, moving parts, right? No shoes. I don't like wearing shoes when I play the drums. <laughs> play some Rush. I wish I could play... Uh, some music, like, 
Rush and um, Dave Matthews Band would be awesome. You're not allowed to do that. It's DMCA copyright stuff. There's laws. Can't do it. So I have to play. I have to play uh, like DMCA free stuff. Uh, shouldn't be muted. Should be back to being fine. I should, if we're uh, chilling, I should turn my little wireless. So this is kind of a cool thing I got is to, where's the mic? Rode Wireless Go 2. And this is part of the reason why I switched to the Rodecaster Pro is because this thing just auto connects to it. So I got a little wireless mic. Like I can literally like walk out of this room. You guys can still hear me. There we go, I'll turn it off. Save the battery. Save the battery. Yeah, actually, uh, I've drummed to some of Music Man's songs before. Uh, they kind of like a, got a fusion jazz vibe to them. And I never, I, I, I'm not really like that well versed as a drummer to do those songs justice on the drums. I struggled a bit. Uh, so I, I didn't, I, I just played them the one time. <laughs> I need to, I need to work up to it, you know? I need to spend some time. Anyway, woo! Man, that felt good to drum again, though. It had been, uh, it's probably been a couple months, honestly, since I've drummed. So, is that light being on distracting? I feel like it is. Good news. I think. Well, first of all, we can, we can, we can bop it down a bit. All right, that works too. Just turn it off. Yeah, yeah. Look, I can make it. <laughs> I can again. I can control with my phone. Watch. Wait, you can't see the oh, fuck, the light. All right. Boop. Nope, missed it. Boop. There we go. <laughs> I like my stuff. I like my. I like my buttons. I like my buttons. Buttons. There, voiced over that. <laughs> Fancy. There, we can turn that off. I just have to turn it back on next time we go to play. <laughs> it's fancy like Applebee's, right? Nailed it. Uh, all right, let's see. You were on the Ender Dragon video? Let's see if I can find that one. I shall look. Enderman. When did we fight the Enderman? Yeah, my next tutorial that I did here I'll show you so here's the order of the videos right did a, a let's play one let's play two and then I did that gold farm you guys got to see the skizzle man present stuff though uh if you watch the podcast today I made reference to it the skizzle man presents um I because skizzle man this channel used to be like a shared channel for a group of friends that I mainly put stuff on but then when I'd get together with my friends it was a little a little different like Skizzle Man was the the MC that's where the MC Skizzle Man came from he was the master of ceremonies is that what it's for uh anyway so yeah let's let's actually play or Mr. Oh, gosh his mic was bad too Who's the man with the plan? Skizzle man. Lots of diamonds in hand. Skizzle man. The, the, the MC in Skizzle man, I don't think was for Minecraft. I think it was Master Ceremonies. I like, I think, I don't know. I'll have to ask him why he put the MC on his name. Skizzle man was taken. So I think he, yeah. I don't think it was for Minecraft though. Cause we do need to, we do need to watch that part again. <laughs> Because, you know. Who's the man with the plan? Skizzle man. <laughs> Lots of diamonds in hand. Skizzle man. <laughs> He's a skizzle man. <laughs> Quiet on set. Okay. Yo, how much time we have? All right. In a oh, couple of seconds here. Good lad. Let's go. So, mm. oh, it's good. Couple of things. One, the resource pack, hideous. 
hideous. <laughs> and two, yeah, this is cringe. Uh, Skiz uh, scripted this. <laughs> Just, you'll see. <clears throat> okay. All right, on me. In three, two. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs. My name is Skizzle Man, and with me is my good friend Impulse. And tonight in our debut, we're here to show you something so spectacular, so mind-blowing, so absolutely ridiculous and wonderful, you'll ask yourselves, just how much free time do these guys have? Well, I'll tell you, a lot. Now, before we begin, I ask you to ask yourself, aren't you sick of all the manual labor that Minecraft demands of you? <laughs> he was so mad. He was so mad that he got hung up on the word labor. So let's listen to it again. Do you want the freedom of creative Hell. mode, but the dignity? Now, before we begin, I ask you to ask yourself, aren't you sick of all the manual labor that Minecraft demands of you? Do you want the freedom of creative mode, but the dignity of survival? Well, my friends, I introduce to you the world market. Impulse. Give a little look at this building here. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? It's ginormous. It is ginormous. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have to talk. So the idea was like, I'm the cameraman and he's like the reporter, right? And, and so it was really weird. And I didn't know how to hide my hot bar and stuff back then. And I don't know why I fell in the water. <laughs> and yeah, the microphone sounded so bad too. So I think we built this. So uh, we built this all in survival mode. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, took us about I don't know what was this about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. This has been a project for many, many months, and I'm not gonna lie to our. So basically, this was all built on just a, a server that we all played with our friends on uh, the SMB crew. So uh, you probably r remember SMB back in the day. Uh, Hana definitely remember SMB. Uh, but back then it was it was mainly just like me and McBean and Skizzleman and Roby One and maybe a few other people, at least for this one. Um, and it was just a group of friends that, that played. And I was like very much into Zip Crowd Technical Jail 29575. Uh, Panda 2995, no, that's why I get them all mixed up. They all have numbers. 2994, that's why. Uh, and so I would do like all their inventions, basically. Um, I did like the iron farm. You can actually see the iron farms. It's the little red boxes. And I did as many of them as I could. And then we made this giant tower of like farms and everything was supposed to like feed it Audience, together. Not I'd say about 90% of this now with the is the man industry, behind be the honest. camera, our genius impulse. He's a good guy. Oh my gosh, like look at the skin. What is wrong with the skin? Where's my neck? I got my neck. Something's wrong with my neck and my back. <laughs> yeah, it was so, it was a lot of glass. Um, but I think you'll see. It's all jealous. Back then we had okay. like sand dupers so <laughs> and stuff. So In this episode, we're going to take you on a tour bad. of the first floor. So you know what? Skin, Let's give it a go. How old was Come I on. then? Uh, I mean, I would have been 32. Yeah. So, no, you know, no, I still no. a full-time job and everything, you know, but played Ooh. mainly at nights. Take a look around, Impulse. Take a look around. Show the and, audience uh, what's up. Show the this audience is our first floor, up. and you're going to notice a couple things right off the bat. First of all, it's... So, okay. This chevron pattern was designed by my wife, Mrs. Impulse. Uh... We we were we wanted a floor pattern and she she loved chevrons at the time like we we have some chevron decorations in the house and stuff and so uh, she came up with this pattern with it but we were like oh but it has to be spawn proof because we don't want mobs in here right so we had to we put down all the, it was wool and then we covered it with glass so that it would be spawn proof and then on the, on like the iron path we're walking on we had to light it up but this was her her design not that she played Minecraft. But um, she would, like, come in while I was playing and, like, tell me what to do. <laughs> like, okay, make this design and then and then I place the blocks. And, and then, uh, yeah, Obviously so this was huge. her. This and the her. idea that this is just one She floor. had part of this. I think, uh, I think we've got your, your attention. Now, you'll notice 
in the very first part here, there's sort of this canal that's going left and right, and it's got some gold. Yeah, so this is how I connected all the iron farms. So, like, literally all the golems would, like, travel on waterways to a central killing point. Um, and so it's kind of cool to, like, see them moving around. But uh, this was a massive build. I mean, <laughs> I... I don't. I don't even want to talk about how many hours I put into it. I, I Blast on it. This part of my. You know what? I think Still we're actually going to get to that in a little bit. Or should we do that? You know what? Impulse. You're the one who put most of the work in. What do you think? You want to show them now? Or you want to show them later? No, nah, they can wait. Oh boy, what a bully! I was, was going to say I've now. Been mean. All right. So this aisle, or I'm sorry, we didn't this mind floor duplicating is... stuff back then either. In fact, I remember early on, I was constantly looking for duplication glitches, thinking like that was what was going to get me big on YouTube. If I found a way to duplicate diamonds, I was going to, like, have that viral video that makes me super popular YouTuber, right? Um, instead, you know, there was other people finding ways to duplicate things like rails and sand. Uh, so, like, in here, that's actually a, a rail duplicator that worked back You're then. You're walking through the mall, you just yeah. have a store, and then there's long down here, but it's still it's, like a power one. Like, just like, what can do is put anything, but watch, yeah. watch. Watch closely. Are you watching? Watch. Boom. Look at it. Notice, if you in. will, how we get constant if you can time it. power two, rails. Two comes out. Populating here, and you can just stand here as they... Yeah, go. free rails. <laughs> and then we Fun had, like, like freighter. free sand. Who was it that Watch you got this. this model from, Impulse? JL. JL. I still didn't know how it is, the number behind the his name. Amazing minds I out never there. Say it. Put this together, <laughs> and uh, we went ahead and built it from the ground up, and by we, I mean Impulse. But the idea here is that once I click this <laughs> button, I'm going to have so loud, much yeah. saying I'm not going to know what to do with it. So you know what? This machine actually Impulse, is super how, how, loud. How uh, full are your pockets, buddy? I got some room. I got a little bit of room. You got some room? Let you show stand here so they can minute. take a peek at it. Yeah. I'll just flip that on. So now the audience can see uh, This thing was crazy. Like. Look at the sand. Look at it come in. So you can see an impulse. Oh, I kind of miss those days. His pockets are filling up. <laughs> you know? Handled, he turns around. I think. I kind of miss those days. It was too easy, uh, though. It was. It was. It was. Chest down here. It was definitely OP. <laughs> we had okay, so much sand. All right, let's let's zip through this video. Down to size, oh, look at, and then they're down Hold here. on. How does this happen? How does this happen? How do, how does the video get these chapters? Anyone know? I didn't do this, and these are perfect. Slime, slime farm, rainbow sheep. How does this happen? YouTube AI is automatically making chapters. What? How? What is this monstrosity here with all the glowstone? Well, come on up these steps here. And this should make it clear as mud to you. So you see a ton of cauldrons, and you we have them lit up At from At what point do we say this is a wood generator nice, for this to make this, this chapter? Be? Well, I want to tell you. This is our wood generator. And what we do is we plant there you go. Uh, with bone meal. That's and on a crazy. Of distance, completing I've been circuits. seeing this on a lot of my videos where there's, like, chapters. I'm like, who's going in and adding chapters to my videos? That's crazy. <laughs> huh. Let's see, what do you say? Should we show them the very first thing we saw coming in the door? Or, Mr. Impulse, my friend, should we show oh, them how to trade this? Hall. This. Oh, yes. No, was, wait. My volume was so much lower Before than his. Do, that was terrible. I want you guys to one more time guess what's in there. <laughs> what could it be? Does anyone know because what's in there? Anything. Give me a hint. It could be. <laughs> Oh no. A magazine shop. DTG, thank Could you so be. much for the 24 months. Hope I recovered from I the hot one challenge. Absolutely. I'm ready to do it again. But it's not. Hey, NJ. Take a peek. Have fun. Have a good day. But now, disclaimer do not contact HR for what you're about to see. These people are paid well, okay? <laughs> they like what they do. Dun, 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 dun. Uh oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> What's the. What's you, the secret knock? You left me out. I'm coming. I'm coming in, too. Come on in, buddy. Look that door didn't Look work properly. Why in. didn't that block? I want him. Scared. These people hurt your feelings. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'll come in. 
They, they don't look very happy. I get it, okay? But they're happy. This, this was my trading hall. This is, this is actually smart, though, center. putting them, like, up, the down, up, down, up, down, so that they can be one be block apart. Lock these people in place and trade with them. Look at the texture, though. It gives them all the different faces. That might have been a mumbo-jumbo door. I don't know. Back then, I mean, this 10 years ago, he was probably making doors. Could have been. Could have been. Yeah, some of you may know, and it didn't some seem of you to may work not properly, know that though. as you trade, there's sort of a... Anyway, villager trading hall. Amazing stuff, yeah? Um, I think so. Yeah, basically, we we would build all this stuff together, hang out, uh, and have fun. And then, like when we had enough things that we felt like we could show people, we would make a Skizzle Man presents server tour, and we would show it off that way. So, <laughs> Mumbo was probably twelve. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's find another one. Let's find another one. I mean, it was cringe. It was it was pretty cringe. Um, nuggets, nuggets. So we're trying to we're trying to uh, basically produce YouTube Shorts before YouTube Shorts were a thing. However, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna actually play a full video for you guys, okay? Because it's only a minute long, right? So we were doing YouTube Shorts before they were a thing. But um, it could be argued that the content itself wasn't anything mind blowing. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably won't be standing up today because like we are kind of hopping over to the drum set back and forth, so I'm not really you know needing like the the stand up time today. Um, so we'll be okay. But uh, let's let's check this one out. Hello, this is Skizzle Man, along with Impulse. Welcome to another episode of Minecraft Nuggets, Ooh, your quickest fancy. source to some of the finer and lesser known tips and tricks of Minecraft. In today's episode, we will be showing you how to create an efficiency five pick. Once upon a time, you were able to enchant at levels as high as 50, and if you were lucky, you might get efficiency five. Ever since update 1.3.1, that is no longer. Now you can only enchant as high as 30, thus rendering it highly unlikely and even impossible when working with diamond tools to get yourself an efficiency 5 by merely enchanting. Well, all is not lost. You can still enjoy the high impact of an efficiency 5 tool with the help of the anvil. <laughs> In my hand, I have two efficiency 4 picks. At the cost of 7 XP, you can combine these picks into one great tool. You're welcome. You're welcome. And who learned something today? Raise your hand. Who learned something today? <laughs> That was another Minecraft nugget on how to create efficiency five tools. If you like what you saw, subscribe and stay tuned for more Minecraft nuggets to come. Peace. Peace. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no way. I'm rolling with this, guys. Okay. Okay. You know, I, said, yeah, I, I wasn't sure what it was going to show for recommended, so I tried to hide it real quick. But you know what? Look it. Let's roll with recommended. I mean, oh, it's a hard choice. It's a hard choice. Which one? Which one do we go for? Mm, I'm going for this one. I'm going for this one. Hello, everyone. I'm Impulse. And I am Tango. And we are here today because we've been issued the Ice Bucket Challenge to help raise awareness for ALS, otherwise known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Now we have both been challenged by Mob and Minecraft, and we are not about to back down in this. And nice I was also out. challenged by McBean the Builder. <laughs> so the way this works is before we dump this bucket on our head, Ooh. we have to pass the challenge on to three other people. Personally, I am challenging ZF, I am picking fellow Hermitcrafter I Jevin, and I'm picking my wife, who is right now filming. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna pick on the two newest members of the SMB server, Zintac and the Duke. And also Vibe from the Contingency server. So what do you think? I think it's time. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Gotta love this one. Uh, oh, <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Right, check the description <laughs> for more information about ALS. Help spread the message. <laughs> that was fun. That was a fun. That was a fun thing to do. You know, uh, the the whole uh, ice bucket challenge was big. The raising money for. Uh, Lou Gehrig's disease at the time, and, and it was uh, something we wanted to get into. It was, it was uh, a big thing being passed around. And so 
Yeah, this was before me and ZF were on Hermitcraft. So Tango, I think, had just gotten on Hermitcraft. And uh, and so he issued that to the... To, I was still on SMB. So, yeah, I issued to uh, SMB members. So, yeah, it was... Uh, it was an interesting one. That video somehow YouTube just like, so we just watched it, which means YouTube's now gonna. Hello, this is Skizzle. Oh, sh sh let's start pushing it out again, probably. But I'm <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back in that shape. I've been telling myself that for a while. I was in good shape back then. I I, uh, I went to CrossFit daily, and uh, was able to do things like the Tough Mudders and stuff like that. So. Uh, Double Mint says, my father was diagnosed with ALS beginning of the year, and the ALS Foundation has been absolutely amazing. Oh, good, good. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was uh, that was a big thing back then. I, I think a, a lot of money was raised, so it's good to hear that that uh, Foundation's still helping helping out. My hair looks better now. Well, when I'm not wearing a hat. Yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I used to shave it all the time. It was more of a, a laziness thing, really than uh anything else but <laughs> okay okay let's see i'm trying to pick okay i'm wondering i i don't i don't see the dragon fight that was being asked for i, I was trying to look out to see if i had a, a future craft oh the end of the ender dragon all right here we did well, i found it We'll drum. We'll drum again in a second. I think. I think it's time. <clears throat> Dice bucket challenge is actually one of the few huge internet trends that actually have a noticeable effect uh, on the issue. It's meant to raise awareness for. There were significant advances in research as a result of the money raised. That's amazing. That's that's so awesome to hear. Yeah, you know, like all these like crazy viral trends that that, that happen. Um, they don't always result in a in a positive outcome. You know. So it was really cool to see that that did. Let's. Now I'm wondering why this was requested. The dragon fight. Um, it looks like I'm making my way back around. Oh, oh, oh. What was I did. I died. Yep. So this is me and my son in Futurecraft, our ninth episode. And we're already going after the ender dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of myself for hitting shots barely. That's probably the most most fun part about fighting the dragon is taking out the orbs. Stack jump up Let here me guess. so I can get a better look. -see. I get knocked off by the dragon. Come on. The, see, the, anytime you record Sweet. in the end, it, it usually results in like really bad footage. Make you know what I mean? Like, I can find it's cheetah. just dark. It's just dark. All right, so What's we're going to continue Alex? on with this for a little bit. Everybody's been asking me, am I okay? Is that because of the Hot One Challenge Once thing? Yeah, I'm good. That didn't... Uh, Skiz and I actually recorded that a few weeks ago. Probably gonna run out of first. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. We'll try to do that, and then we'll be back with you. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. I, Unless I die first. I Wait. made I made the uh, the mistake back of looking at an Enderman. He's so angry! Do you look at the video with him and Tango and the famous oh, no, look at all those chickens? Which one was that? Uh oh. I don't know that there was much to this video, to be honest. You know, just a dragon fight and and, and whatnot. Um, let's let's drum, and then I definitely want to show. I have one that I definitely want to show, and that is the the moonlight interview that Tango and I did uh, to to interview members of the moonlight server. That one. That one's a good one. You guys are gonna get a good laugh out of that one, I think. <laughs> so I'll I'll find that one after we we drum another song. Um, I'm trying to think like what could we drum to? I kind of want to pick like a a hermit song, like we used to do. Uh, we had those that one stream where I sh I like drummed to nothing but hermitcraft based songs. What song would be a good one to drum to? Hive Mind from Jono. Let me listen to it real quick. Uh, is this new? I have to listen to it first. Hive Mind, Jono Smithers. Uh, two weeks ago, so it's new. Okay, let me hear it. Oh, 
As soon as I step in, a true OG, the hive mind is what I'm repping. Try to form against me, you won't prosper like the weapon. It's Doc, you probably know me better as a legend. Unstoppable. Like Thanos in his armor. Be Minecraft with a snap, then go become a farmer. Take your team to calm you. You don't want no problem. I'm out of this world. Okay. I have you yell no with Kiki Palmer. Can't copy my gameplay, you see in the scriptures. These okay. We'll do it. We can do it. It's drummable. I just had to make sure it was drummable. You know what I mean? Uh, let's get the let's get the pack back on. Let's get the get the wireless mic back on. Maybe we'll just leave it on. I think it'll make it through the stream. <laughs> uh, oh, I I gotta fix something real quick though. Let me go to that mic. Okay. When I go to this mic, I I, I it definitely sounds a lot different. It picks up a lot of the room noise, uh, but I also I get echo in my ears. Because it's wireless and there's just a little bit of a delay. Um, so what I can do here is I'll turn down the drums a little bit for you guys. And that way I can turn it up in my ears and it'll still be good. I think that'll do. And... I'll switch over. All right. Now I got to find it on this this computer. I am just Blake. Thank you so much for the eleven months. Appreciate it. <laughs> We're gonna need this clipped for Doc. You think? All right. Let's see. Let's go to YouTube. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I clicked a button on my phone on accident. That was weird. I have to like lean over for the keyboard. This is super awkward. Uh... Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Woo! Woo! Was that loud? That <laughs> sounded loud in here. Was that loud? Oh yeah, we need the light, you're right. I need to get that that light on this. Uh... Oh, it was good, okay, good. Sweet. We'll turn this light on. I need to name these lights so I know which is which. Ah, let there be light. And then I gotta make sure I turn off my phone. Yeah, okay, that'll do that. Are you sure that wasn't too loud? Every day for the whole team. Optimize every resource so 
there's a section in there that got so heavy, it was like hard to hear the beat, like keep with the beat. Just a lot going on. I don't know if it's because there's so much like bass in my ear. Yeah, during that part, I like can't hear it at all <laughs> in my in my ears. I couldn't hear it. Maybe oh, maybe the backing need to be up more or something. Anyway, that was yeah, that was tough. It like got so muddy in there. I was like. Where's the, where is it? Where's the beat? Can't hear it over the just the, the raw like rawr, there's like this loud roar going on the entire time. Yeah, that was uh, that was kind of a tough one. Kind of a tough one to play too. I forgot to turn off the mic on that one. Uh, <laughs> what else you guys got? Let's do another one. What else? I always struggle with Hermit Gang for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> what else should we do though? There's one that I love, absolutely love playing. Bop is always fun. Let's do Bop. And it's nice and short too. Bop, Bob, no, Bop, Lee, Beat Maker. All right, I just gotta remember to mute my mic. Bad at that. Get the song going, I get excited. All right. Ooh, way to go. Good job. All right, are you gonna bop it up? I can bop if you want it. You can bop if you want to. Please all friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. You can bop if you want to. Please all friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. So we just go bop, 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 bop. Don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. You can bop if you want to. 
like that one. <laughs> that one's always fun. <laughs> uh, let's do one more. Why not? We're over here. Just getting over here takes so much effort. Might as well. <laughs> Might as well do one more. What do we want? What do we want? Two badges. Uh, work, maybe not so much. It's kind of like a chill. But drum kit, uh, this is a Roland set of V-drums. I have the TD-25 module. It's a little old by now, but um, yeah. Roland V-drums. My rap? Hmm. Hmm. We could try my rap. <laughs> we can try it. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can find it. What episode was that? What episode did I rap in? That was just a few episodes ago, right? Hermit Craft Nine Ep Ep. What episode number was it? Anybody know? It's right before I went on vacation. What are we on now? I have no idea. 44? Uh, Maybe? Mm. No. It was the one where, what was I doing? What was I doing before that? Is that the speed running one? No, better to be lucky than good probably. Yes, I think it's that one. 45, what was I say 45? I'm in the 60s. <laughs> no wonder when I searched it was like nowhere. Um, I think it was this one. You can take it with you. Sue, watch a montage of me delivering. Oh, it's gotta be in here. Inside of iBuy right now, but if we really want them to get a taste of what they could do with bamboo, maybe we should give them a little prezi. And I have a full All right, we'll give it a go. I have no idea. Every single hermit. So I thought it'd be a little more enjoyable to watch a montage of me delivering presents to each hermit's face if I put a little bit of music behind it. So enjoy. Yo, gather round. It's time to drop some bars. I'll introduce you to the Hermitcraft stars. They be building and crafting and mining so deep. In the world of Minecraft, this is where the legends creep. Free is the prank to restrict over sleeve. Girls and artists who will make you believe. With Bumbo Jumbo, automations, it's game. Stars, landscape, it's Hall of Fame. It's Cal, Diamond's be his best friend. And false symmetry, building one is no end. Brown, the architect with mad skills. Stress in the house, bringing chaos and thrills. Hermitcraft fan, they be holding it down. Building up the server and running the town. From the nether to the end, they be grinding all day. The Hermitcraft crew is making their own way. Hermitcraft, a place of endless spawn, a community. The friendships are spun. From beat up to Azuma, you know this place. Together they build, creating with style and grace. Cup fan. He's our redstone mastermind. And we know Doc M's experiments, they're one of a kind. Ren Dog, he's our storyteller with tales so deep. Gemini Tay, mad skills. She's living above my teeth. Tango and Beef here making some games for us to play. And we got Etho, the OG, always paving his own way. We got Devin, XB, bringing the Minecraft heat. B Dub, our entertainer, he can't be beat. Hermitcraft fan, they be holding it down. Build up the server and run the town. From the nether to the end, they be grinding all day. Hermitcraft crew is making their own way. Hermitcraft, place of endless spawn and community. Where friendships are spun from beat up to Azuma. You know this place. Together they build, creating with solid great. Joe Hill, always willing to lend a helping hand. And you should see what Cleo can do with an armor stand. Zeta, he's our goofball, bringing laughter and fun. Hypnotized, our magician. His skills are second to none. So shout out to the Hermitcraft crew. You know every member, they be keeping it true. They build, they conquer, they entertain. In the world of Hermitcraft, this is where legends remain.
<laughs> that was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> that was fun, right? <laughs> it was fun, though, to make that rap, and it was different. <laughs> you guys enjoyed it, though? Oh. It, it, that one goes pretty hard. Uh, I can't wait to share the, the what I'm the remix of it with you guys. It's coming soon. What kind of music am I into other than HC tunes? Um, I like pretty much all music, honestly. Yeah. Even like some country I like. Like I, I get into pretty much all music. Usually if I'm like just chilling at my computer, 90s music is my jam, kind of like the grunge era. I like, uh, I like a little bit of punk rock as well. A little bit of everything, Eminem, everything. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we do have like a, we have to stick to things that we know are not going to get like DMCA striked, so not everything's available. Uh, I, yeah, that's good for me. <laughs> that's good for me. Let's move back to the computer. We shall make our way over. I feel like I need to, oh, yeah, I am plugged in. Let's go back. Whoop, whoop. To Hiva. Oh no, I'm rolling over my cords. Too many chords. So off the mic. So off the mic. That's better. Gotta love it. Gotta love the setup. Smooth. Azuma's album. Uh, have I listened to it? I don't think I've. I think I listened to just part of it. Um, so I haven't really heard it all the way through. I should. I should. I should listen to it and see if uh, it's something I could jam to. That'd be cool. It'd be a thing. Could be a thing. Mm, 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 mm. Nothing says qu cringe quite quite like reaction videos slash streaming. Thunderhorn, was that a dig? Were you calling my stream cringe? Was that? Were you trying to be mean to me? Or are you making a joke? Or are you just are you just trying to be a? Because I'll have you know there's plenty of people that ask for this. Uh, <laughs> Tango played it through while streaming. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So it's uh, it's not like DMCA. It's not DMCA. Strikeable. I guess Azuma probably could claim it, but he wouldn't, I don't think. Because he'd want other hermits sharing it. Nightshade, thanks for the $3.14. Uh, have I tried drumming to Moonlight? I think I have. Yeah, it's a little bit rough. It's a little bit rough. Um, maybe next time I hop over the set, I'll try that one. I haven't drummed in a couple months, so I'm like, I'm kind of feeling the, like I definitely messed up a few times. <laughs> uh, I tried to play it off like I didn't. I tried to play cool. Speaking of Moonlight, let's, let's, let's see how, let's watch the, um, let's watch the Moonlight. Is this the right one? Yeah, okay. First of all, first of all, we gotta, we gotta give some respect, some mad respect to my Adobe After Effects skills, okay? Because this intro was amazing. I don't know why I ever stopped using it. You ready? Look at that. There we go. That's how you did intros back then. You go hard. <laughs> Listen to this, watch this. What do you think, Tango? Should we get one more spider egg cocktail? Yeah, why not? Let's do one more round before they close. Hey man, I finally got caught up on your Let's Play series. I gotta say that base you're building it's turning out pretty sweet. <laughs> well, thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how things are turning out. But, you know, I still wish I had half the things you had in your world. You got some pretty insane builds, I've got to say. <laughs> Could you it's imagine so nice. if we'd been building these things in the same world together? <laughs> yeah. They are single-player worlds, though. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I love the way I looked over and down at the bar here. 
as though I'm act uh, I'm disappointed. Oh yeah, the acting the acting skills were absolutely. I gotta turn this off because it's too funny. I, yeah, I guess you're right. It. Yeah. Oh. oh. Hmm. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I am. She's definitely been checking me out all night. Uh, impulse? You do know that's a dude, right? Uh, I still to this day. Okay, do we need to have this conversation? Isn't a witch mean female variety? Exactly. Witches are female, warlocks are male. <laughs> Tango and I, we had much debate on this. <laughs> but he went with it. Anyway. Oh, man, never mind. Yeah, no, actually, I had something <laughs> else in mind. Historically, yes. Yes, back then. This is great. Look at the camera work. This is like, this is like before replay mod. I think replay mod was a thing maybe or not yet. I think he actually had to do this with like a camera account. So Tango grabbed a lot of these, these shots. Which is Kimbi all. Yeah, that's it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not worth having the conversation. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty good. Did you see that? He had to he had to open the doors like we didn't have like redstone. Open these doors for him. He literally had to like whack whack as he came through. It was pretty smooth. All right, let's get started here. So we're sitting we the got first on the list. Well, it looks we're, like first on the list. The idea behind this video was um, we were announcing the Moonlight server. And we wanted to act like Tango and I were putting the server together and we were interviewing potential candidates to be on the server, right? So uh, this is this is our interview process, and uh, we only had a few people in mind, so that kind of made it weird, but... Um, so somebody by the name of Grap Hun Eak. All right, sounds good then. First applicant, please. Come on in. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> so this is our friend Graf. Um, she... Uh, she won a contest that Tango had put together in his single player world, and the and the uh, the reward for winning the contest was a server tour. Like a like Tango gave her a server tour, so that uh, during that time they got to know each other a little bit, and uh, we realized Graf was pretty cool, and so uh, we got to know her and, and uh, eventually invited her to the Moonlight server. She, she's got the little scar face. Well, hello uh, there. Scar's smirk, Could you start right? off by just maybe telling us a little bit about yourself? Okay, uh, my name is Griff. So we interview, right? We'll skip, we'll skip, we'll skip, we'll skip. Because uh, there are like the the, the com comedy parts. Let's see here. So she's going to demonstrate her skills, Questions. I think. But can you break this block? Whoa. Oh. Oh, that's that's all it took to impress us back then. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. Wow, you are definitely in. I guess. I'm wondering if we should maybe consider raising the bar a bit. You know. All right, we'll try. <laughs> from far, far away, and enjoys offering useless unfair so we had trades fake to tours. Applicants. Sounds pretty good to me. A, Let's meet them. Next. Okay, Mr. Widward, is it? Thanks for coming in today. We appreciate it. Can you maybe tell us a little bit about yourself? What is it you like to do? Okay. Uh, I think there's been a misunderstanding. Huh? This isn't that kind of audition. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> what were we thinking? Next. <laughs> Oh, what's wrong, little guy? Hey, little buddy. Are you nervous? Is this your first time? It's okay. Time? Yeah. You don't got to be nervous. We're not going to eat you. Just be yourself. Just, yeah. You just got to relax a little bit, and you'll be fine. Ooh. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Too fat. <laughs> I haven't seen this in forever. Oh, that's so funny. This was good. This Okay. We're supposed to be watching the cringiest videos. That was hilarious. This is the most, this is the best video we've ever made. I've decided just now. <laughs> You'll be fine. Ooh. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Too fat. Too skinny. Too creepy. Too dead. 
No. Too much fungus. <laughs> Wrong color. Well, wait, wait, oh, jeez, too angry. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Enderman, but I just don't think you're quite the right fit for what we're looking for. Oh, jeez, what? To run. Security! Security help! Oh, there's a little here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thanks, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, that is nasty. Ew. You can just go now. Can we get a mop in here? <laughs> this is not going this well, is, man. This is really I well think we done. we need to speed this up a bit, or... Something. Yeah, um, I agree. Bring in the next four, please. Whoa. Huh. Well, you don't see that every day. Very interesting. All right, let's see who we got here. You there on the end, Mr. Z-Dap. What you need... All right. This scene was really hard to film because that squid, we only had like a little bit of time before he was going to die. <laughs> So we had to, like, get him in and get it right, like, so fast. Any skills would you say you have? Um, it's pronounced Zedaf, actually. Um, and for starters... I like this would you say you have? You there on the end, Mr. Zedap. What unique skills would you say you have? Um, it's pronounced Zedaf, actually. Um, and for starters, I think I've got a great deal of experience... Oh, look, it's a squid! <laughs> oh, yes! Ink for days! <laughs> um, uh, excuse me. Tego, Tego, check it out! Finally, we're getting some good applicants in here. I know, this is great. And and did you see the one we got next to him over there? We got a sapling. How cool is that? Seriously, is this some kind of a joke? I've been waiting in that room for like two hours. Oh, I... oh, but the squid. Think about it, Impulse. Having an aquatic ally has infinite possibilities. We'd be like, like, like Aquaman. No, 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 Tango. Check this out. Bam. Look at that. Bam. Oh yeah, I could do this all day! We gotta take this guy! Are you kidding me? <laughs> These two aren't even alive! Uh, and the squid is actively suffocating! Right, right now! Are you seriously considering Tango, me? I've got it! <laughs> Your brilliance knows no bounds. I know, man! Am I good or what? It's a piece of dirt and a sapling! Have you fools even played this game before? Oh, and the squid's dead. <laughs> Impulse, I am all about taking that sapling right now. That thing has got huge potential. <gasps> what Whoa. the? Well, <laughs> that sucked. Well, we still got this dirt! I don't know, man. This other guy <laughs> over here might actually know something. Tango, we need to pick the dirt, man. Stop being <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Huh. Well, congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Z. It looks like you are it's in. It's pronounced Zedaf with a F at the end. A F. I thought he was going to cuss. Whatever. Well, what do you say, Impulse? Should we call it a day? I think our work here is clearly done. Yeah, let's wrap this up. All right, can you go get the two we selected then? Two. I think we should get started right away. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. That's how you announce. That's how you announce a new server, a new SMP. That's how it's done. Uh, sh let's play that song. We should play it. Should we? Let's go play that Moonlight song. I want to play it now after that. That was a really well done video. I gotta give it, I gotta give it to Tango. Tango scripted, like, pretty much that entire thing. Um, that was all, that was, that, that video was mostly Tango's brainchild. It, it was, that was hilarious. Like, that was, that was so awesome. <laughs> uh, let's hop over to the drum set and play some Moonlight. That's such a good song. Now I'm in the mood to play it. Let's let let's go. Hello, is this my con? All right, cool. We are in. We're good. Okay. Oh, 
That was a smooth transition, right? Right, that video could be released today and it would still be, like, good, right? Uh, moonlight. Um, why is the, what's the name of the artist? It's escaping me now. Underwater Beats, thank you. Oh, stream of brain. Underwater Beats. There we go. It was very interesting because like, that song was already made and we had already decided to name our server Moonlight and we came across that song and it just fit perfectly. It's like, it was the weirdest thing how that song existed. It was the perfect song for us and our server was gonna be named Moonlight. Like everything just came together magically. Okay, let's, 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 uh, let's play it. Forgot how it ended. <laughs> oh, that one's, yeah, that's why I said it was tough. I knew it was tough because it's it's got the swing, right? The whole triplet feel. Yeah, it's a fun one though. 
All right, again, while I'm over here, shall we? Oh, I forgot to turn the light on too. Whoops. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Yeah, it's got a little shuffle, a little shuffle feel to it. And uh, when you're not warm, it's actually kind of hard to uh, to get that because it's, it's, it's pretty tight, like uh, a little diddle almost. A little diddle. Lupus Nocte, that's not a bad shout. Um, which one? Lupus Nocte. We can play Lupus Nocte, we're allowed to do that. Some MX. Yeah. All right, this one goes kind of hard. I'm not ready. lost the sticks a few times oh my gosh 
<laughs> Dang. That one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break after that one. <laughs> I can't do another after that one. Holy cow. I told you that song goes hard. It's cool though. <laughs> Oh, Mike says, I need hugs after that. I kept, did you see the cable from the above cam? The cable kept getting in my way. It like landed on the drum. <laughs> That's what happens when you go too hard, I guess. Jeez. Oh, nice. All right, let's pop back over. Mm -boop. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. I'm sweating after that one. <laughs> Y'all made me sweat today. Jeez. Jeez. Hello. Hello, lovelies. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. First episode of Naked and Scared. Okay. That's a good one. I like that. Oh, my hands. Oh, my hands. <laughs> you can tell I'm, like, out of breath. <laughs> oh. Do I have the audio for Ollie's disc? Not easily available now. I gotta, I gotta dig it up out of like the server download or something. <laughs> oh man! Woo, woo! I love that I can see as I'm at the drum set now. I love that like there's a whole nother camera angle, and I can see OBS. I can see chat. I can see all that stuff. What I don't love right now is every time I come over here, I have to turn that light back off. I need to, I need to automate that with a scene. Ch Ooh, I got to automate that with a scene change. That could be cool. I turned off the wrong one. That could be really cool. Uh oh. Which one is it? Which one is it? You? Yeah. Nice. Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> it's it's cool, but it's also distracting because I brought I brought the mouse with me for some reason. Uh, it's cool, but it's also a little distracting because I'm like drumming and like trying to I'm trying to like you know think about drumming, and I'm like seeing chat saying stuff, and I'm like you know oh I just got here I didn't know Impulse is a drummer, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm like reading this while I'm while I'm trying to play, and, and uh, yeah that that sometimes gets a little difficult, but it's cool. Definitely worth it. All right, let me let me see. Um, you wanted? Oh, I know. I got a couple. I know. I have to do today. Let's see if we can find it. Ooh. Um, you were asking for. Hold on. It was a. I already forget. Um, what about having headphone cable go around from behind so you stop going in front of it? Yeah, with the drums. Yeah, I'd have to like swing the cable. Hang myself. Uh, swing it behind me. Yeah, that'd probably work. What was the one that you mentioned? See, I already like, I already forgot. Um, look at my blurry comment in the back. <laughs> uh, I live in an AZ, I'm always sweating. That's true. That's true. Impulse, next time you do Phasma, you should tell Scar that he yells, prepare the holy hand grenade before he throws something at the ghost while it's hunting. It will end the hunt. It would be funny. Oh, troll him. Say, oh, you just have to say this. I get it. I get it. Oh, first naked and scared. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see how, how easily I forget. Uh, all right. Searching for it now. Searching for it now. One second. I'm just looking to see if there's anything in between that's like that we need to show. I don't think so. Gosh. All these videos, I'm like scrolling through here. I'll show you. I'm scrolling through all these videos, right? Look at all, all these videos. Say 10 years ago. All of them. 10 years ago. We keep scrolling, we keep scrolling, we keep scrolling, we keep scrolling. 10 years ago. We keep scrolling, we keep scrolling. Finally, nine years ago. Nine years ago. Naked and scared. Official trailer was actually pretty good, I thought. 
Uh, look, during this time, I actually got invited to Zip Crowd, which was cool. This wasn't really like a like a, a stream where we're supposed to like let let's go back and relive the history of my YouTube career. We've done that before, uh, but yeah, this is when <laughs> I joined Zip Crowd. Funny story there, Zip Crowd was so good. Like they're so smart technical engineers um, that I was a little overwhelmed to get on the server and then try to do tech things. So when I was on the server, I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna build stuff instead of doing redstone stuff just because like i didn't want any of the zip crowd people like judging my redstone because i couldn't hold a candle to them um and that didn't work out for me i i lasted uh, two whole episodes it looks like so oh no three oh you can see i saw like obviously a lot in between anyway all right let's go uh let's check out naked and scared uh let's see the, let's see the uh the trailer first why not in a, in a world <laughs> that's what it sounds like in a world in a world where mercy is. is nothing more than a forgotten concept where the only language spoken is pain and misery two strangers meet for the first time in the most uncommon of conditions so we're in our underwear yeah and i was kind of hoping you were a chick yeah. their goal to complete a randomly selected uh. task within 21 days 21 days we got yeah, that that'll be no problem in ultra hardcore okay yeah it just got a bit rough but i think we're okay it's got interesting but I, I i think we got this meaning no health regeneration no regeneration no spider uh. spider oh! oh god oh god <laughs> he's catching up is it on me it feels like it's on me it's an they'll on be me. tested like physically say that. Oh! mentally <laughs> <laughs> Emotionally. Oh, God. I'm so hungry. <laughs> the relationship they build will be the key to their survival and will undergo its own trials as they struggle to work this together. Funny. I've been out collecting firewood all day. What have you been Stop doing? Stop yelling at me! <laughs> they must learn to celebrate their victories. <gasps> Skizzle Man, look! I made a fire! Sweet! And face the defeats. Oh, Impulse! I lit the house on fire! What? Oh, come on! <laughs> In order to survive 21 days. <laughs> we knew exactly. Naked. How this was going to play out. <laughs> it's all <laughs> me trying to be the serious, good Minecrafter and Skiz just screwing things up after, you know, 26 seasons later. Nothing has changed. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Nova asks, are you going to try out for the Pickleball paddle Battle reality TV show that's going to be filmed in Chandler? Uh, no, I don't play pickleball. I tried. I played, uh, I, I tried playing pickleball once and I was no good at it. And so that was it. That was it. I gave up. But, uh, that's kind of cool. They're filming something close. Super chat from the Fox Fox. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Say, hey, Impulse, I hope this isn't going too far, but I'm watching the Hot Ones Challenge. Uh, looks like I lost some weight. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Um, slowly but surely, you know, tried. I'm trying to, trying to, trying to, you know, trying. I'm trying. I appreciate that, though. Yeah, it definitely helps keep the motivation up. Am I going to TwitchCon? I am. I am going to TwitchCon. Yes, I uh, got my tickets. So is Skiz. So is Tango. We'll be there. If you guys, uh, if you guys want to go to Vegas, uh, October 19th through the 21st, uh, and go to the convention center there and, and uh, go into TwitchCon, we'd love to. We'd love to see you. Even if you don't get tickets and you want to just stop by, uh, I'm sure we'll find some time to just hang outside the convention and meet and greet and stuff. So. That will be fun. That will be fun. Maybe, you know, TwitchCon thing might be a little bit of the reason why I'm, I'm trying to get a little healthier, too. Airbnb or staying on the strip? Looks like... Oh, yeah, okay, so we haven't decided yet, but because we haven't decided yet, it looks like we're gonna. it's going to force our hand. <laughs> and most likely we'll be staying on the strip. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we got to look, and it, uh, we kind of blew it. We kind of blew it. If we do Airbnb, we'll probably, like, have to drive quite a bit. You live there. There you go. There you go. Yeah, we'll try to uh, we'll try to organize something so we can we can let y'all know where we're gonna be when and if you want to stop by. Fantasy Factory, thank you so much for the twenty months. Hey, Impulse, you getting some retro game systems? Oh, me me getting retro games. Impulse getting retro game systems. Let me read this right. Uh, made you decide to pull mine out of storage recently, and I was thinking of streaming them and getting the Elgato analog video capture. Wondering uh, what your thought on that product would be. Keep up the great work. I think it'll work. I I think I actually have one, like a super old one. 
Um, I, however, got an HDMI, an AV, whatever it's called, to HDMI converter. And so I'm actually sending mine through HDMI, um, through my like regular Elgato HDMI um, capture cards. So uh, I don't, I don't know. Sounds like it would work though. Is there going to be vlogging? Probably. Probably. I think so. You can do Mirage, Bellagio. They still got rooms. I t we, we, I don't want to share a room with them. <laughs> I didn't want to share a room with them. Yeah, we'll try to get some vlogs recorded. Of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to listen to them snore. They don't want to listen to me snore. I'm sure by now we're all snorers, you know. Um, my wife says I'm not too bad. But I do. CDM Phil, thank you so much for the 14 months. Appreciate it. Yeah, it'd be great, great for the. Well, I don't, I don't know about the podcast, but just to have it, just to have some uh, documentation of our experience together. Uh, we had that with, um, we had that with Zedif. Tango and I went with Zedif, and we just uh, we didn't like vlog, vlog, but we took a bunch of pictures and stuff, and and it's kind of cool looking back on on those pictures. Uh, so that was just the trailer for Naked and Scared. Shall we watch like the actual? like first minute or two of the first Naked and Scared ever because I'm sure it was pretty bad. Um, cause, oh, it was because Skiz and I, we did this thing where we acted like we didn't know each other, which is kind of, kind of awkward. <laughs> we, I don't know why so. we chose to do that. We should have just, we should have just, yeah, been, been more real, I guess. Um, let's see it. Mm -mm. All right, here we go. 21 days, naked and scared. I just spun. All right, and before we didn't do the split POV, so I had my recording on my channel, and he had his recording on his channel. Uh, later, we figured out that it'd be better to just switch back and forth based off of who's got the better footage in that minute type thing. So, yeah, in this one, you're only going to see my point of view. And here, but I think I after got I some meet, armor. Look at that. Look at I did a little custom GUI. Oh man. That was my that was it. That's what I was it. That's what I was known for, right? Cool Minecraft stuff. <laughs> I'm so creative. <laughs> I like it though. Look at it. I should do this again. A little custom GUI. On that I'm going to now take off and dispose of. I think the Don't texture pack was oh, faithful. Man. Yep. That's impulse in his undies. <laughs> Get a good look, folks. <laughs> we were trying to like recreate and, uh, the beginning yeah, of the actual armor. Naked and Afraid series where they do like undress. There you go. That's what we get. This is this is how we're rolling in Naked and Scared. <laughs> so I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, as you can see, with absolutely nothing in my inventory and in my underwear, as you saw. <laughs> And I need to head, I believe they said. Skins need upgrade. I know we haven't changed them since season one, have we? Named Skizzle Man. Holy cow. So hopefully <laughs> yeah, this like guy him. knows like, no, how to survive it. in Minecraft because, well, I, <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to be that great at it. Uh, so that's a good point. Evil brings up the mic quality. Um, guessing, let me think back. Uh, so does it right now feel like this mic is better? Then the microphone we heard during like the first episode of like Future Craft and Skills of Man Presents. I feel like there wasn't there was an upgrade at this point. Um, I think if I remember right, I think I went from the Logitech G headset one to the uh road. It was a road microphone. What was it? I bought it with money that I had won from a fantasy football league. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, I remember what it looks like, but it's, it was a road, road podcaster mic or something. Yeah, yeah, very tinny still. I'm more of a automation type of guy, engineering farms and stuff like that, doing the redstone, uh, fighting mobs and staying alive without natural regeneration. A little bit out of my wheelhouse. One point six point two. So. Let's Minecraft see. version. Should be up here a bit. Oh, okay. I see something off in the distance. Oh, okay. There. Looks There's like a little challenge board. Could be our message board. And oh, 
Who said? I want to look that, that up. Road podcasting. Is that it? Hey, is that Skizzle Man? Oh. I see off in the distance. <laughs> Impulse. I, I see you. Hey, hey. hey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Skizzle Man. All right. Uh, Okay. Who else would be out here in their undies? <laughs> yeah, okay. I was almost worried I was being punked, and uh, I was going to be the only one in my underwear. So, nope. As you can see, uh, yep. <laughs> okay, so I, I misremembered that. I thought we acted like we didn't know each other, but obviously, there we did act like we knew each other. So we must have had a back and forth, wondering if that was the right way to go, and actually decided, you know what, let's let's do it the right way. <laughs> Here we are. Here's a good look. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of this. <laughs> I so I, I hope we get comfortable yeah, like with one another. I think we I will. I don't know how as we start about. to get hungry, and we gotta, we gotta hold each other in the cold. But uh, if, uh, if we're <sighs> we're spooning, then mm. I'm the big spoon. I'm the <laughs> big. <laughs> okay. Oh so, man. What do we got here? This so, is. Should be one of our tasks. <laughs> yeah, we, it looks like we got nine different things we could end up having. Stream title checks one of, out. One of those nine, anyway. Stream title checks out. Oh, uh, this is a dispenser. Jeez. Okay, it's got, it's got nine books, so it's random. So, all right. So, make a potion of regeneration. Obtain one stack of emerald blocks. Obtain all six colors of Oh, these were the different things we could have gotten. Suit up a horse one. with diamond armor. Kill the Ender Dragon. Oof. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> That's going to be rough, man. Kill the Ender Dragon. I hope we don't get that book. Yeah. Make Enchanted Apple using pigment gold. Uh, uh, no mining. I guess, I mean, you can't just mine. Yeah. Yeah, they're specific there about the pigment. Uh, catch and name. A lot of these challenges have either <laughs> <been> impossible or <laughs> boring. Obtain a Silk Touch pick and kill a Wither Boss. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, there's another one I hope we don't get, Kill a Wither yeah, Boss. Let's not get that. And then okay. there's rules over yeah, here. Yeah, rules. Okay, so no crafting armor. Okay, that's all we so had for rules back then. Like we're going to be in our this undies for a two while. Cracks, what? But that's, <laughs> hey, I'm calling loophole on this, man. I, if I find armor, I'm putting it on. Okay, agreed. Agreed. If we can find something in a, in a chest somewhere, uh, yeah, agreed. So uh, we we'll had have to, to add for who gets no it, but yeah. potions, <laughs> like no, no crafting. Uh, all right, and no beds. So it looks like we're going to have to survive nighttime. At this point, I don't think... Hopefully not just we thought cornering ourselves in a, in a dark hole somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so we can't. That's yeah, true. we got to make says, it Let's be real. You two would still make All right, well, let's – tell you, time's ticking, so let's it, get yeah, cracking let's, here. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to push the button. You cool with uh, that? I'm cool with it, man. Pick oh, a good one. I don't one. remember what happened. Oh, on. Okay, I have money, a choice money, no, what it's going to be. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is it? Take a look. So – I feel like that was one of the more boring challenges we could have possibly got, which which is a bit of a buzzkill considering it's season one of a brand new series. You would love to start off with like something that's like really like a banger, you know? It just felt like, okay, so we're just gonna be running around looking for different colored sheep or trying to die and get the different dyes and dye wool. Um yeah, it didn't feel like there was gonna be a lot of adventure like like mob fighting and stuff but i think as you find out as you watch the series like we we find ways to get hurt so it didn't matter <laughs> like we still went cave and like we still went cave and like you know for some reason i don't even know why um but i think if i remember right i was really hoping that we were going to get the catch a name of gast i thought that was going to be like a really cool first challenge so part of me was a little disappointed but i think it still turned out pretty good Gen fire thank you so much for the raid Welcome, welcome, Raiders. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. We're um we're doing a little bit of a hodgepodge stream today. So if you're coming in, uh, a couple weeks ago, we had some sub goals and we hit them. And the rewards for the goals uh, was that, one, I would bring a drumming stream back because it's been a long time. So uh, we do have uh, a drum set up behind me. And uh, we'll, we'll get on those in a little bit again. Uh, uh, and also, we're we're revisiting some of the cringiest videos I've ever posted on YouTube to uh, make fun of ourselves. Uh, so that's part of it. Uh, and then in the future, uh, we'll be doing a Hot Ones Challenge live. So uh, that's going to be fun. If you if you haven't seen, there's an Imp and Skiz podcast episode out today where, where uh, me and my buddy, we go through the Hot Ones Challenge. We eat some the the wings of death, the hottest wings uh, on the planet. Um, I don't know if that's true, but they were really, really hot. So you get to watch us suffer during our, our quote unquote podcast. So uh good one, but we're gonna do it live. So that'll be cool. <laughs> that'll be cool. 
Oh, I thought I unpaused the video. I, I unpaused music. Obtain all 16 colors of wool. Okay. Yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna get cocky here, but I think that's doable. Yeah, yeah, that's uh that's that's, that's much better than killer wither boss. <laughs> so I don't remember uh I don't remember the outcome of this season, to be honest. <laughs> now it's been long enough, like it's okay, right? Like it's okay, it's okay. We can do you guys can you guys you guys can remind me. So we did it. We did it. How many episodes did it take? Let me see. How many episodes did it take? Boop, 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 boop. Uh, uh, uh. I'm starting to like have to scroll through a lot of episodes. Let's go back. Got a lot of scene changing today. Every time I click on something, I don't know what's going to come up, and I'm like, <laughs> oh no. Oh, we should watch that. That's going to be super cringe. We should watch that. Uh, where was it? Did I scroll all the way past it already? 10, 11. Must have been 11 days. 11 days. Oh, we only and we only had four hearts, so... Yeah, it was kind of a nail-biter, I guess. Kind of a nail-biter. Okay. All right. Do, we, do you guys want to watch this vlog? I was... I don't know. This is why... If you're like, hey, you should vlog. This is why I don't vlog. Really gonna Ugh. enjoy it. So that's, get... uh, that's what's been taken Is up that all it? my time. Cool. What? Uh, 480? Take this opportunity to let you guys what? Know, uh, something else has been going on. The I probably had just like a little Logitech here. webcam. We're together, um, playing again every Tuesday night, and we're actually doing some live streams. So if you want to add braces, live streams every Tuesday. It's hard night, to tell with this quality. Plan. It's 8:30 uh, Pacific Standard Time PST for now. Um, we actually. Most of us live in Arizona, and, and we don't do daylight savings, so uh, that will change. Much uh, skinnier and change. less yeah, hair, way less changes. hair. Um, so if that's you know too much work to keep up on the time nice zone thing, I suggest you follow me on Twitter. Uh, or this Twitch, is what, what, Why did I even make this? Be. So you can follow us there. And you I don't think this video is actually public. I don't think it's public. Let me look. It's terrible. I think I think I know what it was. I think one of my Patreon rewards was that I would do a video, a vlog or something every month to like let people know what I was up to. I don't. Oh, it's public. It's got 5.9 thousand views. Oh my gosh. Why? Why? Uh. <laughs> Who's that handsome young man? Uh, I don't know. He said, I look younger now. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we've got. Look at I used to be really good at naming my episode. Look at this one. Isn't that a, isn't that a great name? Here. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was it. That was it. I want to I wanna do the first episode of Hermitcraft. Look at this derailed eight years ago. And I'm still making it. I'm so proud of that game that I'm still making it eight years later. Love it. This is when, okay, this is when the, I started turning the corner on YouTube. Uh, this is when I started going hard. I, I know exactly what happened. I, I was on sabbatical. So I worked in a company and every seven years they would give you two months off. Like every seven years, I give you eight weeks off of work paid. And so uh, during that time, I decided I'm going to go hard. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to try to make YouTube a thing. And I spent that time designing farms after farm and eventually uh, got the item sorter design. 2.2 million views now, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, this all kind of transpired while I was on a sabbatical. I was just spending a lot of time. Yeah, spending. A I had the time to to spend on coming up with new ideas and stuff. I was jumping around, SMB, naked and scared, doing tutorials, just doing all the things, like really keeping the channel active. Um, and then look at that! I got invited to Hermitcraft UHC. I gotta hang out with the Hermit. 
that was that was it that was like just that was the the door just the little crack of the door that i needed to start to get to know him tango had already gotten in i think because he helped mumbo with the iron farm and then uh, relationships were formed there so then uh after tango was in for a while he was he's like hey you guys my buddy would fit in really good with the hermitcraft crew you should invite him and uh sure enough they did uh so thanks tango for vouching for me appreciate it <laughs> changing lives uh, so let's take a look at my very first experience on so, hermitcraft it's a fish hold on stop it okay it's, it's a little loud okay full screen please okay lots of things happening um at this point in time i had actually paid somebody like to do my intro so i wonder how many of these intro songs are going to get me flagged for dmca now um <laughs> i don't think so if, if they were claiming my intros i'd have all my videos taken down um but I had paid somebody to actually do like a, a professional intro better than the, the one I had done in After Effects. But this was the style back then. So uh, even things have changed. This isn't exactly the, the style anymore, but the song was fire. Uh, so here, let's listen to it. It's pretty slick. This, this was me. <laughs> this was my uh special effects editing okay get ready i'm gonna start over so we can see the whole intro again just because it's, it's worth a second watch oh where am i what is going on here oh my oh no i'm i'm falling what's happening wait is it Impulse. Is somebody calling my name? Impulse. Oh, sounds like Tango. Impulse. Oh, is that a Zuma? Impulse. What is this? Impulse. Hey! Wait! Whoa! Wow! That transition, though. That transition was like the tunnel and like, oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know. That was kind of cringe. <laughs> that was kind of cringe. Uh, yeah, they they summoned me to the the Hermitcraft server, and I came through some some wormhole <laughs> and ended up here. I don't know. I don't know. Did it, I mean, did it work? <laughs> did it work, or was that the cringiest thing ever? You need another. You need another watch. Wait, is it? Is somebody calling my name? Impulse. Sounds like Tango. Impulse. Oh, is that a Zuma? Impulse. What is this? Impulse. Hey! It was that transition right there. Wow. I think was the main problem. It wasn't very good. Wow. That was so dramatic. Hi. Hello. Uh, my name being called. What's going on? Um, we're just standing here looking around at these witch huts and there's three of us and we kind of feel like, hey, we need we need a fourth person here to help us build one. Do you feel like building a witch hut? I certainly do. That sounds amazing. It we sure does. Uh, well, yes, definitely. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's... It's, um... It was very, it was very, I don't not awkward, but, um, I felt awkward. I felt like... I didn't really know them that well. And so the whole time I was like pretty nervous. It was my first like exposure on Hermitcraft. So there was like a lot at stake. And yeah, <laughs> I felt like I was not very cool and smooth. And you know what I mean? Uh, I, I wish I was. I wish I'd, I'd been a little more collected and a little more confident in myself back then. But uh, that's, you know, a lot of, a lot of pressure and, and not knowing people and stuff like that. Hazy Cash, thank you so much for the five gift sub bomb. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. It's official then. We have a, a new hermit here to help us get a big project underway. All right. Welcome to the <laughs> server, guy. Welcome, yeah, Impulse. Thanks. It's going to be awesome so to have you here. Have some carrots. Here. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome because I have no food. <laughs> Excellent. This is what we eat here on Hermitcraft. Only the <laughs> finest buttered carrots. <laughs> ah, like it already. <laughs> well, thanks for the invite. 
No problem. Awesome. I'm excited and looking forward to this, and it's going to be great to have you amongst the group. You're obviously uh, a technical Minecrafter like, uh, well, all of us right here are that. Azuma's smooth. He's got it down. I I'm still finding my way big time. Big time. The technical mm -hmm. sorts here on the server. Do you want to mm -hmm. let people know what you're about? And uh, oh, yeah, yeah. where they can find uh, you? <laughs> definitely. My, my passion for Minecraft is all around automation. So get into the technical space that way and farming and all those good things. So yeah, got a, got a YouTube channel. I'm sure uh, if you guys are willing. Put oh some yeah, nice it's all going to be linked stuff. down there in the description box. Go and check out <laughs> Impulse SV, guys. He's the newest hermit. And uh, I guess it's kind of the perfect project then if you like automation and, and that kind of side of things. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah pretty cool, right? Pretty cool, Zuma, come in and just be like, yeah, we'll put the link in the description and all this stuff. January 11th, 2015 was the day. Was the day. So what is that now? Eight and a half years? Math? Is that about right? Did I get that right? No, not 10. What? No. Math. No, obviously eight years. It says right there. Eight and a half. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> it says it right here. Eight years. Um, 2015 was eight years ago. It's 2023. Yeah, but this is January, so you got to add some more months because it's, uh, it's August now. Okay. That's a lot. Eight and a half years. So we got a year and a half before our 10 year hermit craft anniversary. I joined, it was halfway through season three, which was kind of weird to join halfway through a season and have uh, so much stuff already established on the server. Um, did take me a little while to find my legs and like feel like in a, in a groove, like I was part of the group, but uh, uh, man, I was, I was ultra excited to be on hermit craft. I was, I was, a huge Hermitcraft fan. Like, even before Tango got on Hermitcraft. Uh, I remember tuning into the... I think it was a Season 3 live stream. They they kicked off Season 3 with a a live stream. And I was, I was like, watching the live stream the entire day. <laughs> and watching them just, like, get started on the season. It was so cool. So it was, it was pretty surreal to then, like, actually get invited to the server eight and a half years ago crazy that's crazy <laughs> tango tango's been 10 no nah, couldn't have been couldn't have been if i'm eight and a half no way no way because if i'm eight and a half and i joined halfway through that season that season wasn't over a year and a half long there's no way he may be 10 years of YouTube, like we've had that recently, somewhat recently, not super, super recently. Yeah, it's probably his just uh, YouTube channel creation. My YouTube channel creation was September 2012. So that was, yeah, just just less than a year ago was was my one year. <laughs> I can't believe I went for the whole wormhole transition to Hermitcraft. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I mean, at that point, you guys want to see me attempt another vlog? You want to see me attempt another vlog? Hopefully it's better. Should we get a new vlog channel? Uh, am I doing YouTube full-time now? Yeah, as of February, so six months ago, um, I was officially like youtube only full-time uh before that i spent a whole year doing youtube mainly i spent one day a week consulting for uh the, my previous company so i've kind of been full-time for like a year and a half um but just this last six months has been nothing but youtube um and i absolutely love it it, it the hardest thing about it is is like having like a constant this is what i'm going to do today um because it's really easy when you're like self-employed and you get to make your own decisions on what is going to get done next 
um, to procrastinate and be like, uh, there are days like yesterday. There's there's days like yesterday where I decided I wasn't in like a good creator space. Um, just wasn't like feeling it. I wasn't like feeling down or having a bad day or anything like that. It was just like a day where I was like, if I hit record right now, I don't think it's going to be very good. Um, I just don't, I'm not feeling the juices, you know? And so what I did was I looked around and I realized my office had become a mess. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to clean my office. I'd let it get, I'd let it get messy. You know, I got new earbuds in and all these other things. And I started like packages and I've been swapping out all my audio gear and, and, and all that stuff and messing with new cameras. And so everything was just kind of out of place. And so I said yesterday, I'm like, instead of creating content today, I'm going to, I'm going to make my space around me feel good. Look good. Feel good. And especially it helped since we're on the drum set cam today. You can actually, uh, you can see a lot of it, a lot of the room. Like you can see my desk now. See? So now you can kind of see, I mean, look at this, look at my, look at my desk. It looks pretty good, right? Look at all my buttons. <laughs> I have all the buttons. Um, so yeah, the desk is like fairly clean now and, and, and all that. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel good when I sit down and then I'm, and then I'm like energized to produce. So uh, also spent some time talking to a fellow creator yesterday, actually two of them, um, some new friends of mine and just kind of like, well, we, it started off talking about gear because this person got a new device and I have familiarity with it. And so kind of was like going over some technical stuff with 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 them. And uh, and then it turned into just some like YouTube talk. And uh, we started like bouncing ideas off of each other and stuff. And uh, it was really cool just to talk to a, a, another YouTuber, somebody who I hadn't really had a like a, a big past with. Um, and you guys will find out who that person, those persons are next Friday because they're on the podcast next week. So that's going to be cool. I'm excited for that. Um, and new friends are fun, especially, you know, meeting people in the content creator world is is, uh, is an interesting thing. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to uh, continuing a friendship there because, I, I, you know, having friends is fun. A quadcast, yeah, it's coming. All right, so check this out. Let's check another vlog out. Let's see if I got any better. Oh gosh, Shame. I'm gonna regret this. If we just walked right past each other in the hallway without. Here we go again. I'm still bald. Everyone called me bald back in, and I used to take offense to it because I wasn't. Everyone. Like this obviously, I grow hair. And today I got something a little different for you guys. Obviously, a little vlog, something I don't do a lot of, but I thought it was pretty necessary because, as you can see behind me. Going to Minecon in a few days, and I figured oh, there might actually Minecon. be some of you that don't even know what I look like that are going to Minecon, and it'd be a shame if we just this walked is my right face past reveal, each other basically. in the hallway without saying anything to each other. Um, so <laughs> hopefully, you know, you saw this video, now you know what I look like. You see me walking down the hallway of the convention center or out front or wherever. Uh, now you know what I look like, so you can stop me and say, hey, Impulse, you know, I know who you are. I watch your videos, what, what have you, and then we can, you know, talk a little bit. So... Um, we're also having a little meetup going on the Friday before my hey. uh, Hermitcraft meet. All right. Yeah. I think this was a cool idea. This isn't so cringe. Um, I had, a, I had, I knew that a lot, not a lot of people had seen my face. I hadn't really shown my face that much on my main channel. And I knew I was going to a convention center and, and I needed to basically do a, a face reveal, even though it wasn't like a, you know, big thing, and but okay, okay, it's not bad, it's not bad. So this is pre, pre Minecon. Down the hallway. I think afterwards I might have, uh, I might have done like a post summary as well. Uh, I, I don't know though. <laughs> the vlog thing never really felt super comfortable, but now look at me. I'm doing, I'm doing podcasts and stuff, so. I guess I'm I'm getting more and more comfortable with it. So maybe maybe I could I could do better vlogs these days. I've 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 all I'm all grown up now and I have I have hair. Too much hair right now. That's why I'm wearing the hat. That's why I'm wearing the hat. Uh when did I start Twitch? Twitch has been an interesting journey for me because I actually started Twitch like early on. Uh so probably like eight, nine years ago I was on Twitch. But then Mixer came about. 
I left Twitch for Mixer. Well, at the time it was Beam, uh, and then uh, it became Mixer when when they got bought by Microsoft. And then uh, once I felt that Mixer was heading in the wrong direction, I came back to Twitch. So uh, I've officially, I think, been back on Twitch for almost, almost what has it been now? Four years. Yeah. Plum, you came from Mixer. You followed me over here. Okay. No, it wasn't Justin TV. It was Twitch when I first joined. But uh, still left with a bad taste from that. Yeah. Uh, we we really enjoyed our time over on Mixer, for sure. Loved the platform. Loved, loved the founders, Matt and James. Uh, they were absolutely amazing dudes. Uh, and they, they changed my life as well, those two. Uh, when we went to Mixer, uh, those those two um, made made it possible for me to start my journey basically into into full time. Even though it took a long time, um, they yeah they they did some things and it was great. It was great, and the Mixer community was was super fun and, and being able to like inter, like have all the interactive stuff like so snappy. It was it was a fun platform while it lasted. It was a shame that it that it, it did it, what happened happened, but. Uh, no, no regrets. You know, I'm back on, on Twitch for four years now and we're loving it. We're loving it here. Uh, in fact, you know, things might even get better in a few months here on, on Twitch if, uh, all things go well. So, uh, looking forward to that. If you guys have heard about the partner plus program, there's a chance for me, uh, to get in it. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be helpful too. So been here for a bit been here for a bit i forgot what i was doing oh i was looking for i was looking to see if i had another vlog but i do i got new equipment too that would uh would be good for vlogging oh my gosh <laughs> i gotta show this video i gotta show this video um let me pull this up real quick i love the thumbnail we put our oh my gosh this kid looks so young okay watch this guys oh no Okay. Some sort of day. What did I don't even know what we did? Oh, we were we just needed to ask people to submit the best of clips from Naked and Scared. So basically what happened was Skiz was over at my house. We we're watching football. The Cardinals, Arizona Cardinals, our football team, which cry for me this year, please. Um, it's gonna be a rough, rough season, I'm sure. Uh, but at halftime, we decided to jump into my office real quick and record this quick little video asking for clips, I think, of uh, the best moments in Naked and Scared. I think that's what this what is. What up, Skids? It is day. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't. This no isn't... days. No, no, no days. days. This is a special day, though. Special day. No, it's, not, special. it's not some sort of day. It's a mm -hmm. special day. Yeah. And we're here to ask the audience for something pretty awesome. We may have had a few adult beverages before this video. <laughs> if we were watching football, there's a chance we had a impulse. I'm sure it's fine. Take it away. Oh yeah, we are doing something very special, very special. And what we need you guys is help <laughs> because what we want to do is compile some of the best of naked yep. and scared clips from the past seasons, meaning yep. seasons one through. Seven That's now. Right. One through seven. today. Yep. The best of is yep. what you said. The best of. So, well, not our best of. We want to know what your favorite clips are. So, but we need your help, guys. We want to know what are your favorite clips of the past seven seasons watching Naked and Scared? Because I know there's been a few. Yeah, I love good that green screen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A few? What are you doing? A few. Why are you? Why are you down? Count them on. And count them on. A okay, million, no, I can't count a them. million great <laughs> moments, dude. I think we had some drinks. <laughs> yeah, what we I did. Is, I, I, so here's my vision. I don't know what your vision is, but my vision is I would like to see a video that we can put out there where it's just like, that was the old office like from the beginning to the end of the video. It just captures the essence. Of I can even tell you this is now on my this is my third microphone. Uh, you can see this the the microphone down here has got the pop filter and it's got like another pop filter. It had two pop filters on it. Um, this was the uh, the blue. Uh, the the blue, from blue. I think just the brand is blue. Uh, that's all, that's what that one was. Uh, in this office that I was in, I built with my dad in the garage. So I'm in I'm in my garage, like in the corner of my garage. No, it wasn't the snowball. The snowball is like the, the little round thing. It was just the blue. It was just called 
I'm pretty sure it was just called Blue. Um, Blue Yeti, maybe. Yeah, okay, maybe it was Blue Yeti. Uh, I think that's what it was. If I look it up, I could I could tell you. But uh, anyway, so yeah, we're basically in a little little clay, uh, space in the corner of my garage when we recorded this. Um, I could have done something with the green screen. The green screen is kind of like, ooh, man, <laughs> not so good. But Skiz had Adam Sandler energy. <laughs> yeah, he kind of did, right? Of what we've done since from the beginning. Oh yeah. And it's just it's we had to we had to get in real tight to be both on camera. I remember so that. I know exactly what the series is about. Oh, I know beautiful. how funny these guys yeah. are. I know how handsome Skiz is. <laughs> now you know. There he is. <laughs> he, look at. <laughs> all right man how long ago was that seven years ago september 24 oh okay okay so we're coming up on that one eight years okay <laughs> interesting interesting gotta love it cowboy up thanks for the 303 sorry thousand bits cheese gotta love the freeze frames they're great uh, let's, uh, let's jump a little bit more before we end the stream today. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, let's see. No, we were both in Fitzgerald jerseys. We both had Fitz on, on that one. Cause yeah, I'm seeing his, I'm seeing 11 on his as well, but he did own a, he did own a David Johnson jersey. I believe, I believe he did. He just wasn't wearing it in that one. That was his Fitz jersey. I, I still have that jersey and I still wear it sometimes. I do. Uh, all right, let's hop back over to the, to the drum set. Let's see, is this mic still on? Hello, hello, hello. Check, check, check. Yep. Pretty crazy. Oh, we got a sub bomb coming in. Hazy Cash, thank you so much for the gift sub bomb. Look like 31. Nah, I'm pretty sure. Well, look. Anyways, <laughs> hold on. But, um... Nah, that's 11. It's definitely 11. Um, but he did have one. Yeah, I remember that. He also had a Beanie Wells jersey. <laughs> Did Intel hate beards? No, I don't know. It was just like it was pre-beard era. Like Skiz at some point decided to grow a beard for uh, No Shave November, I think, or whatever. And uh, he never looked back. So, oh my gosh, MC MCC video is out. We have to watch that. All right, let's drum for just a couple minutes. Watch the MCC update video together. And then we'll wrap things up because uh, I'm going to lunch with my wife today, as I usually do on Fridays, which makes me excited. I forgot I have to uh, change scenes when I get over there. Professional. Hello. Now we're over here. I don't know what to drum this time, though. What shall we drum today? Oh wait, we were gonna do it like a behind the back, over the shoulder. What should we drum this time? Will the Cardinals win the division? Oh, it means the 49ers been always so happy when that happens. Oh, when they win the division, the, the 49ers wouldn't be happy, yeah. Or the Rams, or uh, who else is in the division? It's been a while. Sewer Cats is always fun, let's do that. See where cats. Uh, I gotta turn this light on too. It's, it's dark. Remember, we didn't automate this yet. Scar's new time lapse music. I don't know what it is, unfortunately. If you can give me the name of it, and it's definitely DMCA strike free stuff. Oh, sewer cats. It's in the recommended right here. How awesome is that? It's a short one. All right, I gotta make sure I'm ready to mute my mic. Sewer cats, sewer cats. I'm trying to remember how it goes. Okay, here we go. Howling. Oh, it's Howling from Lupus Nocte. Nocte, I'm not sure how to say his name properly. Okay, we're ready. Okay, so basically in summary, Scar, mm -hmm. I built a secret base inside of your secret base inside of Karanis' base. Because why are we doing this? Well, Ren, I don't really know why we're doing this. Other than the fact is, we are...
about as good a reason as I have, I think. <laughs> Ooh, it's very yucky down here. Ellie gets me every time with the fake endings. It stops and then he starts again and it gets me every single time. The song was a little bit quiet. Should we do it again? With the, I can crank it up a little bit. Hold on. What happened there? Oh, maybe it is just... I think it. everything was cranked. Everything was cranked. Let me see if there's any way I could play that a little bit louder. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, we could try to turn the music up a little bit. I think it was just specifically that song because the rest have been fine, right? I'll play that one again. It was short. Oops. Okay, so basically in summary, Scott, Better? I built a secret base inside of your secret base inside of Karanis' base. Because why are we doing this? Well, Ren, I don't really know why we're doing this. Other than the fact is, we are the super. could get that that little bit um lupus knocked a howling that's what you guys want yeah that's what you guys want i don't think i can do the dwarf digging a hole song i think i will get hit for that uh, which is why i've never like put it in my my hermitcraft okay but lupus knocked a is safe um he's on epidemic and i have a subscription to epidemic sounds oh look at oh fancy oh you guys never seen me do this have you yeah fancy <laughs> let's try it one hour one hour one hour let's do the one hour version yeah no we don't have time <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I don't know if i've ever heard this
You guys trying to kill me before we get done with this stream? <laughs> I didn't recognize the beginning of it because does he? Oh, it kind of fades in when he does it, right? Holy cow, that hits. That hits hard. <laughs> okay, okay, that's. I'm gonna go back to my desk now. <laughs> I'm sweating again. Thanks for that. That was fun. Holy cow. Whoo. Whoo, whoo, whoo. Aha. Mic switch. <laughs> That's fun. You guys like that? The mic switch. Professional. <sighs> I was losing my sticks again. When we just drum in spurts, like my hands never truly get warm. That hurt. <laughs> I'm hurting myself. Oh my gosh. Turn that light off. Oh. Got to drink some water. Yeah. Thank you. Cash. Thank you. Said amazing drum and cheered me up a bit a lot. Thank you. NJ, aren't you supposed to be doing stuff and things today? Thank you so much for gifting the sub out. Appreciate you. I'm gonna have to change my shirt before I, I go out to uh, eat lunch with my wife today. Although this is good, I worked up an appetite. <laughs> I worked up an appetite. Uh, let's watch the MCC update video together real quick. And then we'll call it a day. Thanks for hanging out today. Ah, <sighs> one hour ago. Oh no. Yep, gets wet and wild. Yeah, yeah, we knew water guns was coming to we knew water guns was coming. Boop, boop, boop. MCC 33 is upon us, so hello and welcome 33. to the official update Let's video, go. and be ready to be informed. This event will see a brand new remix, along with an older Perfect. remix, coming back as a map instead. Starting with okay. the first, MCC Island launched its summer event on the 27th of July, which brought the unique Sky Battle Water Fight remix. Well, it'll also be making its I've been way having into fun MCC with the water 33, guns. But I'll be with honest. some simplifications to make it friendlier to those who might not have been practicing it. Water fight is simple. Wait, 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 the rules what did of you the say? game are the same for those who might not have PC33, but with some simplifications to make it friendlier to those who might not have been practicing it. Water hmm. fight is simple. The rules okay. of the game are the same, but each team now starts with water blasters, a rapid firing ranged weapon. It's not pathetic though. Water can actually kill you here, even if you just stand in it. Water blasters come with ammo, which you'll need to reload into the weapon much like rocket spliffs launchers. And if you need more ammo, then just use your empty bottles on a pool of water. Differently from MCC Island's version, this remix will use a normal health system and health potions instead of towels. Okay, oh, okay. next up is the retard- Alright, so on MCC Island you have to eat your towels basically to to um, dry yourself off when, when you get shot with water, when you fall in water, it's like brings your health down. And then it's like a, re a regen. So they're going to simplify that for the actual MCC for those people that haven't. Like like when I first played a few rounds of this water gun thing, I, I hated it because I didn't understand it. But then once I understood it, super fun. Turn of a great one. Battle Box Double Trouble Can was the first remix that? played in MCC 21 Can and is back for that? another go. But not so much as a remix this time. Double Trouble was initially debuted with the teams using tridents. But this time, it'll play as a normal battle box map where players will have their own the normal selection of unique kits to choose from. As a reminder of the rules, Double Trouble is a map that includes two capture points nice. instead of one. Okay, I was I was thinking they were going to just move the one, uh, move to one in the middle. They're keeping the two. The Trident remix is out. That would have been kind of silly anyway. Um, <laughs> don't worry, Abe, I'll answer your, I'll answer your question uh, as soon as we get done watching the video for sure. To win, teams must capture both points, or when the timer ends, have the most will placed across both of them. Both in total. of them, yeah. Additionally, from now on, so if you can sneak into Battle theirs and like put some will in, you'll get the win points, without them knowing. Which will it's be cool. especially useful on a big map like this. Here's a mid-video reminder for wait, those. Wait, wait, wait! I missed that part too. Dang it. Which will be especially from now on. Ends have the most will placed across both of them in total. 
Additionally, from now on, Battlebox draws will award both teams some points, which will be especially mm. useful on a big map like this. Okay. Here's a mid-video reminder for those who don't know, while watching MCC, you can visit mcc.live to track the live stats of all the teams and scoring as the event progresses. And that will of course activate into live mode as soon as the event starts on Saturday. You can also find a bunch of cool MCC merch at mcc.store like where we've just shirts. recently added back one. our legacy merch since we moved that web stores. So that's cool. available once again, but in a limited quantity. So once they're gone, they're gone. Rocket Sleeve Rush is getting an improvement because clearly there always has to be only one winner. Sharing might be caring, but this game ain't that place. From now on, when Rocket Sleeve Rush reaches its final <laughs> moment, it will now sharing. go into overtime mode <laughs> where all it. the blocks start crumbling away. Mm. Where in the past you could get multiple winners, now the game will end when only one team remains. Hurrah! We're doing something super cute this weekend okay. on MCC Island. In the center of the hub, you'll find an MCC supporter vendor where you can choose one of the 10 team mascots to support. This will give you a temporary wearable hat cosmetic Aqua so you can parade Lottles. around the island and show everyone else which MCC team get you're rooting Go for. Go get them! Oh no! Stefan! We forgot about feeding the fish. What? What, what are you talking about? Oh, yes. Oh, Players no. get to enjoy a swimmingly good time in Fishbowl, a brand new map for Hole oh, in the Wall. Okay. This brings a new platform shape and a bunch of new wall shapes too. This map's the on fish MCCI. are going to love it. Get anyway, it. that'll close off this update video. So we'll be seeing you this Saturday, the 5th of August at 8. There you go. There's your times. Uh, uh, Mythical Luna. There you go. There's the time right there. Uh, doing this tomorrow, guys. It's literally 24 hours from right now. 24 hours from right now. We're doing it. We're sporting the Aqua Axolotl headband. We are going to be gaming with some amazing people. Uh, Smallish Beans, Joel, uh, Snee Snag, Sneeg, Sneeg, uh, and, uh, b -b 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 and uh, Illumina, of course. <laughs> you know, just, just, you know, Illumina, you know, S tier. Yes, tier MCC player. It's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. Guys, we, <laughs> me, Joel, and Sneeg, we played together. Uh, <laughs> sorry, false. You're going down. No, we're going to, we're, we're, we're going to have fun. And whatever happens, happens. We'll see in the, uh, we'll see in Dodgeball. Where I totally didn't promise I'd throw for you, right? Um, <laughs> So yeah, it's happening, but we had a lot of fun practicing yesterday. Uh, I think we're gonna practice this afternoon. Hopefully it'll be something that everybody's cool and I'll stream it. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Just stick around uh, or, or come back later this afternoon and, and check the channel and stuff. <laughs> um, so can you dig it from Evil Notion? Thank you so much for the $3.14. He's asking, am I still using the GoXLR or did you switch to the Elgato Wave or the Roadcaster 2? I just wish Roadcaster 2 had one to two more virtual channels. Uh, I'd get one in a heartbeat, although the Mackie DLZ looks pretty neat, too. The DL, the, the Mackie is huge. You don't want that on your desk. Um, if I can answer. Uh, yeah. Not using it. Just sitting over here. Uh, I, I am using a combination of the Roadcaster Pro 2 and the Elgato Wavelength. So Wavelink software for those virtual channels. Use my Stream Deck Plus as my faders for those virtual channels and use the Roadcaster for the faders for my mics. That's it's a combo. But don't worry, Evil. The Road team is on it. They are developing uh, a firmware update that's going to do exactly what you want out of the Roadcaster Pro 2 in due time. So I'm getting used to it now. Yep, getting hyped. Now I got all my uh, voices I can do again. And there's a door here. And of course, you know, we can hype it up when we need to. <laughs> no, I don't think it was NDA information. Just getting their discord. <laughs> Didn't make me sign nothing. Yeah, we got voices back. We can do because you guys love it when I do the, the voices, right? Right. Uh, any hoozle. That's going to be it for me today. It was a fun, interesting, different stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, we hit channel we hit channel goals like the the subscribers, you know, and all that. Uh, I thought it would be cool to 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 celebrate a little bit with uh, something different, something unique. So there's that. But, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Maybe this afternoon, like I said. Uh, we'll see. 
But definitely tomorrow for MCC, I'm ready to have some fun. Uh, whatever happens, happens. I'm not getting super sweaty about my results. If I finish 40th, I finish 40th. I'm okay with it. Um, last time I wasn't, you saw what happened. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Let's raid. Uh, someone said Scott streaming. Heck yeah. Easy. Easy. We'll raid Scott, the person whose voice you literally just heard in the MCC update video. Uh, go give him some love. Thank him for putting together such an amazing event. MCC is always so much fun. Brings the community together. I've met so many cool people. And I uh, am so honored that he allows me to be in it. <laughs> so uh, go share the love, guys. Give, give Scott all the praise. And I will catch you soon. Have a good one.